Hey, look, man. Tim Tender open, bro. Start that. Start that trend, bro. Is it? Tim, are we recording? Tim Tender. Are. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, bro. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He bleep. said Tim Tender. Hey, look. Is bleep open. out the. Bleep out the nah, fucking we first part. This shit, nigga. Nah. Hey, yo, chill. Nah, Tim Tender. That's what you want, right? Nah, man. At Tim Tender is cool, but not the first part, nigga. Uh, yeah, no, C-O-E. Yeah, yeah. no, it's not. C O E. That bitch did not just tell you that that bitch got a music video or robbing <laughs> niggas. Tim like to be dangerous. That's what it is. Hey, like living on the edge. Like, I, <laughs> let, let, I don't. I ain't lived. I ain't gonna hold you though. Man, bro. I ain't been in that. I ain't been in that world in so long. It just feels so comfortable though. What? I can't hold you. Just really being around some shit. You kind of like I'm good, but. I don't it's, know. It's dangerous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I look, look, I'm solid, but it might be some other shit around here that's like. It might be some inner work that's going on that, that I might not I be no aware about. about. about that Where I'm the exits? About. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you still, you still thorough yeah, in the mix. But you're having a good time, though. I am. I'm loving it's it. It's something about danger, bro. I'm yeah. enjoying it. It just add the extra like little spice. Yeah, to shit. yeah. yeah. It's like it make your little... night. It make your night so little. It's yeah, a, it's the, look. It's the parsley. It's the paprika. It's the paprika. The paprika. Damn, sure. though. Damn. Yeah. Nah, but, Tim, hey, no, we're talking Tim Tinder. Tim Tinder. Tim Tinder. I can't believe you started like Feature, that. Featuring my, uh, feature my DMs and maybe my phone number. Welcome to another episode of The Trenches. I am your host, Zaire Franklin. Mm-hmm. Join with my brothers. Uh, join with the production team. Shout out to the production team. Shout out Brian back in the building. Yeah. yeah, yeah Indeed. Yeah. What up, back at work. Guy. Yeah, man. Be money. Hey, damn. I know he wanted to come back out the Packers. Well, but it's okay. We're going to get it to him. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. It's all yeah, right. We're going to get in the Lambo. Hey, shout out to Bram. <laughs> shout out to Dylan. Shout out to Miss Jade. Uh, Your waiter. For sure. Shout out Joe. Shout out Ian. Uh, listen. Jade occurred me this weekend, y'all. I was upset. I was hurt. You care to expound? Yeah, I sent her. I sent her a message during the game. I was like, "Oh, yo, see, I am working, sir. I'm. Oh, damn. I right, never mind. My bad. Mm. I can't send that. Don't work hours. I apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, uh, y'all don't text during work hours? No, it was like obviously you know she was at work and stuff like that. So I like hit her. I I basically I hit her at the wrong time. Okay, y'all talk after work. Yeah. Okay. Uh, joined here by NFL star. <laughs> First of all. <laughs> My man was out there acting greasy out there. Slimy. First of all, we really... <laughs> it's funny because I was really the nice one out there. I'm out there cool as <laughs> shit. <laughs> I seen one of the... I seen one of the uh, wide receivers try to touch you, try to tap you up. He was on all right, man. Go ahead, man. Nah, that was my man. That was my man. But and we going to get into that. But, okay. yo, hey, listen. My man was out there cooking, put on a show. Hey, love to see it. Mm-hmm. Fresh back. I knew what he was. I knew what he was going to do. Oh, he man. had to say it. When I, see, when I heard the NBA Young Boy shit, I wasn't even fucking with him. I wasn't even fucking with him. When I, when I seen the NBA Young Boy, when I seen the two black sleeves, I understood what that uh, You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Look, all blacked out, though, too, though. Indeed. Black, black Indeed. Out. I seen the black cleats. Indeed. Black yeah, 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 I did. I yeah, seen that's, seen how, that's how it was. I back, seen man. it. NFL star EJ Speed. Come Speed, what's up, baby? The kid that did, man. Come on, uh-huh. man. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I mean, great game versus the Steelers. For sure. For sure. For sure. Boys came out there. Didn't come out there, so I came out there. <laughs> <laughs> I got it's it. All look, I got it. I got it. It's all okay. heavy. Got there, but, man, look here. We on a roll, man. We For trying sure. to go get what we deserve. For sure. Okay. For sure. We got to recognize that. So Tis like, the season. That just go for everybody else who line up, man. We're going to get what we deserve. Ooh. So you know it's I a fact. Love future smoke. Bring your best. <laughs> Bring your best. Yes, <laughs> indeedy. <laughs> For to sure. my left, to my left, I got my brother. I got his bag, he got my front. For sure, my brother Tim Carson. What's up, boy? What's happening? What's happening with the game? Can't call it. Hey man, look, hey, great, great win, great to see. You know what I'm saying? Lucas Soil go crazy. For man, sure. Off the straight For sure. Lucas Soil was turned. I don't even know. Y'all obviously y'all, I don't know if y'all was paying attention to that. Like, obviously, how I could, but first, not even first quarter, like warm-ups. Before the kickoff, before the tip off, bro, them terrible towels was waving, boy. Yeah. They was in there, bro. And I ain't gonna hold you. Third quarter, looked a little light in there. <laughs> hey, look the light. Saw a lot of yellow start disappearing. Yeah, hey, bro, there, I saw people heading for the door. I said, damn, don't let the door hit you with what? With a good, good Lord split you. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Don't hey, come back. Hey, so <laughs> yo, it was definitely that, bro. No, it was good. To, it was good to see that. And I ain't gonna hold you too. I. I know y'all got y'all own smoke about it, and I can't wait to hear y'all talk about it. But we, uh, I was actually having a conversation with 
a couple other people before the game started. Mm-hmm. It kind of it, it felt real like uh Pop Warner is to get up on a Saturday and come check y'all boys out, bro. I, I did like that, bro. I did like that, bro. I ain't gonna hold you like, hey, yo, what's the Saturday what, morning. What, yeah, what, what time the game start? All right, let me go ahead, get myself together on Saturday, you know, and get right. It was it was good actually watching y'all game on a Saturday because it, it truly, obviously Sundays is always a thing for y'all, but it was good to see like, no, Saturday afternoon, Lucas Oil, that's where it is. Like, that's going to be the spot for real. So, Man, I hated that shit. I y'all ain't know. like <laughs> I hated that shit. Now, let me say this. I appreciated the extra day off. Okay. But, bro, that, that, that short rest, mm. like, snatching my day off, coming off the, the, the ass kicking oh. into a – and we going – honestly, Pittsburgh had a long rest. They played on Thursday night. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they had the long rest. They had the mini buy. Yeah. You see, they got niggas coming off of the injury. TJ Watt clearing protocol. Smash. Yeah. Smith clearing protocol. Like, yeah. the motherfuckers coming out to come back from dead over there and shit. We, we limping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to hold you for me. Like, bro, combining my Monday and Tuesday into one day, nightmare for me, gang. I ain't going to lie, bro. Really? I just, bro, it's just every day I'm doing something, it just. It kind of varies the degree of shit mm-hmm. I got to do and the having to do all that shit in one and then to speed all that shit up. It just, I had a fucking weird ass week trying to get to Saturday. I ain't gonna lie, that shit was just. What was on? What was you on? How was everything during the week? <laughs> well, we gonna get into it, but. Need to. I was, uh, I was fucked up. I ain't gonna lie, I just, bro, I, Tuesday, <laughs> Tuesday, my, my alarm fucked up. My my phone didn't charge you. All right, damn. All right, bad cool. I got food poisoning, nigga. Oh, sick. You was down. Nah, really. I mean, I was. I was fucked up, but you know, yeah. it was. It kind of was what it was. What do you say? And still, and, and still, still I rise, rise. <laughs> baby. Come on, man. Understand? And still I rise, and still baby. I rise. <laughs> and still I rise. But nah, the Saturday, I ain't gonna hold you now. Uh-huh. On the back end. Yeah, yeah. Saturday Jones is odd, bro. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, that, that 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 go up. We all begin tomorrow, man. <laughs> yeah. Look, I see niggas eating good. Niggas on the ground with it. Day off. Panda. <laughs> I ordered the, Yeah, no, speed going crazy. Yeah, yeah, you went crazy. I ordered the Panda, right? With yeah. the wild wings. On the DoorDash. DoorDash, a dangerous motherfucker. Whatever you've been in DoorDash, <laughs> they a motherfucker. I go on that bitch. I'm hit the DoorDash, hit the Panda. I'm, yeah, that's on the way. That motherfucker said 30 minutes. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Straight to Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah, it got what I need. <laughs> Ain't it right there? No way. <laughs> but my door dad ended up pulling all the way he was driving. My mother must have been in a Hellcat because he turned 20. Damn. So they both pulled up at the same time. <laughs> Swear to God. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, you went crazy. Yeah, smash, these, though. I be yeah. having the opposite shit. I be ordering my shit. That shit, you know, priority. First and foremost, priority. 20 no minutes. Okay. All right, cool. Bet. It's been 40 minutes. What am I shit? You turn the tip to $1. Nigga 20, nigga, 20 minutes away. Then he pull up. No blue cheese. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Come on, Whoa. gang. You don't have a blue Yo, you know how many times yeah, I order my yeah, Chipotle in Indianapolis again? Burnt from my vinaigrette, bro? Yeah, bro. bro. Let's talk like, about Like, really it. get burnt for yeah. the vinaigrette. Bro, no yeah. vinaigrette. All, like, bro, yeah, yeah. I don't want the bowl no more, bro. 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 <laughs> like, keep all that shit. Bro. Bro, first of all, hey, Chipotle, on the app, bro, please allow me to put more than one uh, salad dressing. First PSA. of all, you're wild as shit for one more than one. That's crazy. <laughs> but you should be able to order vinaigrette with every meal, though. <laughs> yeah, like, why right. y'all playing about yeah, that? Right. Y'all know what y'all got in there, bro. Y'all know what we showing up for. Stop playing with me. On, no, bro. I don't want this salad. Y'all putting these big-ass pieces of lettuce. <laughs> Big stupid ass piece of lettuce in your mo- in your bowl, hey, bro. They got a handful of lettuce. Yeah, I swear, bro. bro. The like, bowl ain't nothing. Yeah, Dick, bro. You, know you burn me for my rice. Come on, I, hey, hey. No, I, I, I feel like do. Chipotle is the worst thing in the DoorDash because you got to damn right correct them, correct them while you in the yeah, restaurant. Yeah, sure. no, you got to eyeball them. You got to let bro, him know, playing. like, nah, double chicken. You look yeah. at them like this. Yeah, no, no that little scoop. piece, three pieces that just yeah. fell. Go get back and get them, sir. Stop playing with the extra rice. Yeah, don't play. Need that, so yeah, yeah no, I, I I feel you though, yeah, like mm-hmm. uh, the orders, like I said, the orders look crazy, man. No, you yeah, acting bad though. You you got the panda with the Buffalo Wild Wings, yeah, you. But I feel it though. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah. Have a day. I ain't gonna lie. You deserve that. I ain't gonna that's be lying. That's a fact. <laughs> Last that's year fact. we played uh we played Minnesota and shit. <laughs> Y'all know what the fuck happened, bro. But I ain't gonna lie. I had a good game, bro. I ain't gonna cap. Had a good game. <laughs> good game. I said, you know what. 
Fuck y'all, I'm ordering Wendy's, nigga. Baconator. Fuck y'all. I don't even care. I don't even, Baconator? Yeah, I went. Yeah, that's how fed. But it was that type of day, though. We we, we just had such a bad. Sometimes you earned that shit, gang. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. You earned the panda with the wild wings. I hope you did the extra, all that shit, bro. For sure. My nigga was putting the on. The man bro. with the rice. Cuz I ain't Fuck gonna cap, bro. First play. I'm, uh, we woo woo. I see Spitty. Uh. But then I see, dog, instead of dog go like that way, he went like. I'm, oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> the crazy part is, bro. If you watch the play, Buck and um, who was it? I think it was, so it was Buck Samson. and uh, Brents. Oh, now it's Buck and Samson. Yeah, they both just watching the shit like, like oh, oh shit! <laughs> I, I keep telling y'all, some of these running backs is not little. <laughs> Najee yeah. Harris is one of them. That yeah, nigga sure. like yeah. six three. Motherfucker, <laughs> tall as shit. You see a six three nigga go further upwards. You oh shit! What the fuck, fuck is you? <laughs> what play is this? Boom! Oh shit! <laughs> At your speed. That's what you was on. I started bumping niggas. That's what you got to do. Watch that's the play after. Nigga, don't go away. That's nigga. what you got to do. Just bump on line, man. Remember what I told y'all? Yo, hey, hold that. Hold that. You hold your line. Like, mm, 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 <laughs> fuck they doing, mm. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Come through the. You know, they flag you. My, you touch my quarterbacks back. for anything. Yeah, you so can't do it. Yeah, stay away from the kids. Trubisky don't get off my line. I'm really but I don't want that 15 yard right At now. all, though. No so not right now. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. No way. Damn, bro. Hey, so, I mean, how, how was it? How was that, man? Playing that one, playing in that in that setting, that atmosphere, bro. It was it was a big time game. Yeah, how y'all feel? It was a must win. So, yeah, yeah. You feel mm-hmm. me? It was one of the ones where like everybody let's step up to the plate. Do what we gotta do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's be perfect. Yeah. So, yeah. It was yeah, definitely yeah. that type of situation, that type of environment. Um, obviously going into the game. Uh, bro, and honestly, you know what? Fuck it. We here to pod today. I'm here to pod today, gang. Okay, bro. As as a as a city, bro, can we stop bringing up shit? We the only team that like. Oh yeah, bro. I didn't even know until like Friday. Oh, that way. First, first them Jenny them told me. Yeah. Shout out to Jenny. First, Jenny told me, she was like, yeah, you know you guys haven't beaten Steelers the last 15 times. <laughs> Damn, Jenny! <laughs> like, yeah. I, I ain't thinking yeah. about that shit. I ain't trying that shit. Yeah. That's Hold your, on, bro. That's your massage therapist. Yeah, thing. like, Jenny, I'm, I'm coming. I'm trying to relax. Now, I love hey. Jenny. I love Jenny. But that, damn, Jenny from the block? Like, <laughs> no, man, it's been 10. You said 15? Ah, damn. Shit, I've been a part about four of them, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, look, 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 look. you start looking back. That's on, half of that's on me. That's on me. Nah, yeah, what's the percentage? I, I had a hand in that. Y'all yeah, definitely did. What's the percentage? Up. Back in that's 2019, I, I had a holding penalty one time. Big play. <laughs> <laughs> they got you me. Damn, nah, can we just, bro, so, like, uh, oh, look, all I'm saying is, look, bro, like, y'all never say shit the other way. Like, where's the, the Colts are... 50 and 4 against the Falcons all the time. Like, where are those stats at? Like, why, yeah. why we always got to... Colts having one and... Like, like, chill, New Year. They'd say, they'd say you know, that was, but that was the Baltimore Colts. Yeah. yeah. Like, what's yeah. up talking about? Yeah. Like, well, I feel like I ain't going to hold you. Like, Indy, I feel like y'all got that. This organization amongst, like, everybody else, like, I feel like y'all carry history, like, heavy. Like history is heavy here. Like I see that. I can understand that. It's I understand that 100. percent And I'm not gonna lie. I love history. So yeah, like, true, I, I true, don't be true. against it. To be honest with you, I feel like it adds perspective. I'd be interested to see. I just be feeling like every victory and every loss is not the same though. Like mm-hmm. I can't look at this Pittsburgh team the same way I'm gonna look at that Pittsburgh team uh, from last year. Or even, uh, when did we play them with Phil? Because we ain't playing them at 21. We played them in 20. 20. Oof, that was one of the worst losses I've ever took as a Colt, bro. Really? Bro, it was... Hold it on, we was, played them. We didn't play them last, we played them last year. We played them last, last year, year, but we ain't playing them in 21. Mm. When we was on Hard Knocks. We ain't yeah, playing them. But we played them in 20. Bro, we played them boys in 20, man. We had a couple of tough-ass losses to the Steelers. But we played them in 20. I just remember that game, bro. It was just... We were just dominating them. We had just been. We were just beating them. We was doing whatever we want. Phil Philip was a quarterback. Shout out to Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil, big bomb to my boy ZP. First of all, it's ZP birthday today. It's gonna drop Friday. Happy hey, birthday, shout out my man. Happy G Day, ZP hey, oh, me. member. One of the really member. G Day, bro, for real. Member. For first, sure. of all, first of all, first of all, shout out to ZP. Big air horn. Big air horn for my dog. Hold on, bro. What the yes, fuck? Sir. Yeah. Yeah, big air horn for my man ZP, bro. ZP, yes, sir. What's yeah, up, buddy? Shout out ZP. 
Shout out ZP. ZP with the blur. Yes, sir. We up. I think we up like 17 or 14 points. Third, like three minutes left in the third quarter. Mm -hmm. Same situation about like week 15, week 16, that type of time. The way shit shook out, if we would have won, we would have been a third seed in the AFC. I do remember that. They came back, stormed back. Juju had a tough, uh, to, um, man, they, Ben Roethlisberger started lighting shit up. I think they still had Connor at the time. Like, yeah, bro, t- tough as loss. <sighs> and in 20 and, and, and 19, we played them again. We cooking them. We up 14 0. Jacoby, our quarterback. Hmm. Jacoby messed his knee up, missed the game, missed the rest of the game. First play, Brian Hoyer in that bitch. Pick six to Minka. Minka cribbed the Yo, shit man, out of that joint. Like that. I think that was Minka just got there either, like, too. Mm. He had just got there. He, he booked that bitch the other way to that shit, like, 98. Yeah, crazy. It was just, but my thing is, it's just, every like, think about it. Like, every situation just be so different. So I just never understand, like... On one hand, I do get it. Like, if it was like, you know what I mean? If Shane had been here, if, you know, Gardner had been our quarterback at the time, if Gus was our DC at the time. Like, if it was some familiarity between parties, yeah, I would understand when it was like on some, okay, y'all haven't beat them in four years or 10 years or whatever the hell it is. Bro, this is an entirely different situation. Brand new regime. Yeah, brand new regime. Different people on their side, different people on our side. Honestly, what does that shit even matter? Also true. Also true. I, I mean, I, but I think like I think again that like that goes to what we talked about, you know, before that. Yes, it's a new, it's new for the players, but at the end of the day, the fans, you know, still remember. You want to keep them engaged. The North remembers. Yeah, you gotta mm-hmm. you gotta keep them engaged with it because they was there wearing them jerseys when it was. Yeah, true. That's the familiarity. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's what it really is. Like I don't think it's more so for y'all, but obviously they want y'all to avenge mm-hmm. this shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like you got to keep those narratives going because it's like, oh yeah, I remember when such and such beat us X Y and Z. Oh man, Zaire and Speed made sure that we got them in. 2023, oh man, yeah, that was a great fucking year. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh remember my God. When, yeah, remember with speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's gonna be you know what I'm saying? Gonna be talking about that's gonna be that's gonna be one of the Jones. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? For sure. For but sure. they broke the 15 year curse for us. <laughs> I just, yeah, man. man, like just I'm just like it's the same shit I told Mo and the Huddle. Let's not make shit bigger than what it is, bro. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's just play. Like, that's my shout only thing. Mo. Like when you <laughs> Yeah, shout out to Mo. Uh, but yeah, that's all, that's kind of what I see. But I but I do understand where you're coming from. Like from that perspective, it's like it's familiarity from the fans has been fans for 30 years. You know, yeah. they've watched yeah. Pittsburgh. And I ain't gonna lie to you, I, talking to uh, Frog, I, I get all my history from Frog. Shout out to Frog, the equipment guy. Okay. Uh, hit our equipment in, with the coats. He basically be telling me like, bro, like they fucking took a lot of shit from us. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that Pittsburgh Colts rivalry now I told him I'm like we can't call that shit a rivalry if they've been kicking our ass for 15 years oh, so I can't necessarily say I don't yeah, really deem right. those I, I deem rivalries back and forth yeah but I'm like they would you know they talk about it and it's crazy because when I really think back I was a young bull in Philly you know what I'm saying you don't really you know think too much about it but you like damn Colts had hella 13 14 uh, win teams 12 win teams that shit was like hey, yeah yeah and respectfully Tom didn't win every year right so like you know what I mean? It was, was just up? like who was up. The other uh, power that they was dealing with was the Steelers. Yeah, mm. yeah. For a while though, for yeah. a long time. Yeah, Jerome Bettis and yeah. them boys for Dude, sure. We got a about had. that shit. Franchise, Stelly, yeah. franchise quarterback, bro. That's what it be for sure though. Those but I mean, we had Peyton though. Yeah, damn. Yeah, yeah. that's the team. But they had like that defense over there. I feel like. Yeah, I mean, Reggie gonna get mad at us about this shit, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I, they had they had yeah, guys over there. They yeah. did Palomalo, come on, James Harrison. Yeah, <sighs> I mean, shit on the office out about they had guys too. They had Hans Ward. Yeah, yeah. but and then you had a respectfully. I feel like you had a. Um, I don't even want to call him like a, a generational talent, but you had like a a very young, very. Do, doing Ben Roethlisberger, yeah. Like I he mean, was, Ben Ben Roethlisberger is a great know, crazy. Crazy. We, 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 we ain't gonna play Maybe that. It's like a, like a situational thing that spark a rivalry. Like mm-hmm. it can be like 
a bad call, like the game before the playoffs, so the first round of playoffs, second round of playoffs, yeah. to get into the Super Bowl, a bad call, and that just sparked oh, the rivalry between the we'll franchise. Like, yeah. It's yeah. like, F them boys forever damn near, because like, this was detrimental to the fan base. Yeah. I feel like, I feel I like a rivalry, you know I mean? a rivalry outside of like, your division, because I feel like in the division, you're going to have rivalries because y'all play each other twice a year. Like, I, know, I feel like that's always a rivalry. Yeah, for sure. That's just that's just up. But yeah. I, I feel like outside of those division games, it's got to be against teams where you just keep getting put in situations against. It just constantly, like, for example, Philly, San Fran. That's got to be a rivalry now. Yeah, yeah facts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. y'all keep getting put in situations against the each same other. Same situation. Uh, Buffalo and Kansas City. Mm. I would personally consider that a robbery. I, well, at least it's it, it's in the it's in the conversation. Well, Buffalo and Kansas City is. Yeah, after that fucking Hall of that was the greatest game I've ever seen. Mm. After that situation, <clears throat> like them everybody having the best performance of their lives, and y'all came up short by thirteen seconds, and they changed the NFL rule because of that shit. Yeah. Now every time y'all play, I'm expecting. The greatest game ever, fireworks, number two. Fireworks, every yeah. Time. But all right, hold on, wait, wait, wait. So speed, both well, both of y'all, because I hear what y'all saying. But when I think rivalry, I'm I think Dallas, Philly, Commanders. Yeah, that's divisional. Though. But that's because I think oh, ain't uh, that the uh, that's that's the NFC NFC is that the East? Thanksgiving joint. Yeah, but I mean, well, they don't always the, play on Thanksgiving. They don't but, always, but but that's that's divisional. All those teams, and then the NFC East too. All that shit is beef. All that shit is beef. Okay. Growing up in that hmm. Philly, you could you could paint this. Philly obviously hate Dallas the most, but they hate uh, the Giants too, and they just don't really. I had to say they don't really respect like yeah. Washington. Eagle, so it's bro, like Eagles Giants. Yeah, that's a but then Giants hmm. Washington. Washington Cowboys, like, but that's a divisional okay. thing. They just okay. major media markets. How do the rest of the world view like Dallas? That's what I want to know. Like, growing like up, I'm, I'm seeing like the, oh, the team. Shit. Yeah. Uh, like, cause I'm kind of like, I got the screen over my face cause I grew up there, but it's like, do y'all look at Dallas how like SEC look at Bama? I ain't gonna hold you. No, I'm like when you go speed. play Bama, yeah. like when you go yeah, play Dallas, talk. like another city, like when you was growing up in Philly went to go, well, you can't really even say it either cause. Why? Wow, cause I grew up on the other side of it? Cause of the division. Yeah, I grew up, I just grew up on the other side of it. But to be honest with you, I wasn't always an Eagles fan growing up. But what I would say is, it's just like, I think outside of Dallas, people just understand like what that uh, star means. Oh, okay, yeah. bet. Like so what Jerry is. Jones means. Yeah. Like, and just understand what that, what comes with that. Like, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. It was just so funny. I, uh, so, oh, go ahead. I was just, well, I'll let you go, but I just want to say, I was just talking to uh, E about this uh, because we were talking about uh, Dallas, who they just played, Buffalo. Buffalo, yeah. And honestly, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I get it. Like, they, they lost, you know, Buffalo, James Cook ran for or whatever, but, I just felt like Dallas, because of how popular they is and how every time you do something in Dallas, you know it's getting promoted. Yeah, like for sure. They're like they can't help but be the loudest five win streak in the in the world. They can't help <laughs> it. It's yeah. Dallas. Yeah, yeah. If they win five five in a row, everybody gonna know you hear Dak Lee MVP. Yeah. That's what's gonna happen. If they win five in a row at this time. But guess what? When they lose and they get their ass kicked in a situation like that. Everybody gonna know, and it's tragic. Yeah, yeah. Us in Indianapolis, smaller market. Nigga, we, we went four in a row. Niggas looking around. Damn, Indy done won five in a row. Yeah, damn. <laughs> Since when? <laughs> Who they beat? <laughs> damn, that's, they. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. They what? What's their record? Damn, yeah. Indy eight and six. <laughs> Where the fuck I been? Well, that's yeah, how, yeah, that's yeah, how yeah. everybody look at us. Like we yeah. had goats through this month. Yeah, like, like you know what I mean? That, yeah. But that's Marvin, that, yeah, Reggie, yeah, Dave, exactly. But sure. that's just the difference in the media market and just like that stars. It's mm -hmm. like anything, the Lakers, the Knicks, mm -hmm. the Yankees, the, you know what I'm saying? Dallas, that like that star just means so much. So it's like everything yeah. that you, that that's why, I, that's why I don't want to take it there again, but that's why Deron Bland is, it works in both ways. That's why Deron Bland getting the hate that he getting because the people trying to uh, equate it to the star, but. That nigga really going crazy, but yes. you feel me? Um, that's what it is. But I mean, back to the to the Steelers. Uh, going into the game, we understood what it was. They were seven and six. We were seven and six. It was for playoff contention. Look, I ain't saying that. They ain't say. Look, they they TJ Watt, all them boys, Mike Tomlin coming into the game. I seen it. They was talking about. Look, they got to be ready. They want to play. You feel me? It was playoff ball. Like, and I ain't gonna lie. I love that atmosphere. I love that mm -hmm. shit. Mm -hmm. 
I love that shit. At home, bro. Yeah. Ooh, the fans was out, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. That shit had me turned, bro. Like, playoff game at home, that's what you want. That's what you live for, bro. It's the for end sure. of the year. It's cold outside, nigga. I almost want to meet to the game. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm nah, saying? It's crazy because I got like. I got, like, so much respect for Mike Tomlin, like, as a coach. For sure. Like, as a black man, as a coach or whatever like that. So, yeah. like, before the game, like, uh, you know I, I got to think about huddles. Yeah. <clears throat> so, like, I don't get in the huddle. I do my sprint to the 50 and I sit at the coat and I kind of, like, that's my time to, like, kill the butterflies and get the start, get all the, get all the shit before the game, all the build up out yeah. and just visualize myself on the field or whatever like that. Yeah. Mike Tomlin comes to me, like, that his speed, I didn't know you was that tall. Oh, like, oh shit This Mike Tomlin <laughs> <laughs> Might be a job later nigga. <laughs> hey, yo, let me You just up. got this one hey, yo, hey, yo, I said let me tighten hey, up hey, I said let me tighten hey, up hey, That was hey, crazy Tim, I said, hey, hey Tim I said Shit I ain't know you was that tall either <laughs> That's hey, crazy, man. Company, bro. man. No Fred Nazin, bro. Why you got a company? That's, 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 that's crazy. It's Tomlin, dog. Hey, that got to be in I your paperwork, I get a pass paperwork, for Tomlin, bro. bro. That got to be in your paperwork, bro. I get bro. a pass for Tomlin, bro. That nigga Speed said. I ain't going to lie. See, I get a pass for Tomlin. I ain't going to lie. 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 The week I saw Mike Tomlin... Y'all really love Zaire Franklin game. I love how he's growing this shit. I send that to my old head. Like, I'm fucking stat, nigga. Yeah. I'm stat. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Yeah. I'm there. Yeah. Put respect on that's my shit. That's Tomlin, bro. No cap. Yeah. So, same thing. No, like, see, some I, people, I feel you, honey. I some people probably honey. got that for Belichick or whatever like that. You for feel sure, me? For sure, for sure. Mine Tomlin. Mine Tomlin. 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 Hey, shout out to Mike Tomlin, man. Women Mary Stepper, man. VA. Tomlin? Tom, Tom, Mike Tomlin from Virginia. He's yeah, from BA? He's, he's from Virginia. Is he from Richmond? He's from the 7-5. You can still have it, though. Yeah, you got it. It's all yeah. right. Good for Thank you. you, guys. It's from your Providence. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> yeah. Look. But I, I do, I, I feel you on that, bro, because I feel like everybody do got that one coach that's like, yo. Yeah, Tomlin, how at you? That's big deal, dog. I fuck yeah, with that. I, I fuck agree. With that. I, agree. Yeah. I agree. I agree with that. Yeah. Nah, but... Nah, definitely the energy was right. The vibes was good. Yeah, I mean, it was like I said. Yeah, man, like it was. It was truly a, um, a truly a, a playoff. I feel like, uh, well, obviously y'all would be able to t- say that, but like it definitely was a very heavy indie crowd in there. You could feel it, like you know what I'm saying the stadium. Everybody was rocking, defense screaming. Mm-hmm. It was. It was there. It was electric. It I was, will it was say. Something. I will say Pittsburgh fans is and it's crazy. My aunt was a Pittsburgh fan, but. Pittsburgh fans are that fan base that travels extremely well. These motherfuckers yeah. travel like an SEC school, bro. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like they are on the road, they here, they got they they got and I ain't gonna hold you, they they smart. I'm not gonna lie to you. They not mm-hmm. like, you know, other teams where they come, they right near the team tunnel, you know, kinda everybody congregated, they cool, you know. Everybody use the same bathroom over here. Everybody go to the same concession stand on the yeah, road and shit. Saying. These motherfuckers just spread out like they yes, throughout your shit. You like, yeah. damn, like I got tickets everywhere. Today, yeah, though. like how y'all get all the way over here? And <laughs> just uh, the they home. waving it, yo, yeah. like they they be they trying behind our bench. Yeah, like, you like, sure. damn, how the hell y'all got? Like they make a play, they got some noise, and you yo, like. <laughs> Y'all, y'all is shit. Blood. I told, I was walking around. I saw a boy with the towel. Said, "I'm gonna take your shit." <laughs> so when what I you when, do with it? Nick, so caught, Nick, Nick caught the Step pick. On. Shout out to Young Nicky. We gonna get into it. Shout out to yes, Nick. Sir. But Nick caught the pick. We went down. And I was looking for him. They was holding it with two hands. I said, oh, "Y'all must know. Y'all must know. That's like getting your chain took for, for Steelers." I feel that like I was gonna take that shit. I so did they travel with the towels? Are we handing them joints at the stadium? No, nah, you no, definitely got to travel. They joint dirty yeah. and all kind. But you they know that's probably, fans. You that joint probably like uh uh. Oh, so this is your chain. You passing that joint down to your son. That's so like saying, a, they ain't nah. passing out every game. At that the shit like stadium. a Valerian. Well, that I shit mean, a Valerian they, sword, nigga. That <laughs> shit they keep in there and shit gangster. They got <laughs> <that> Valerian, <laughs> <steel> Valerian <laughs> steel <laughs> steel <laughs> They yeah, swinging nah, out. They probably mm-hmm. passing that joint out to like you feel me. But I feel like that's like a rite of passage. Like for sure. Once you uh, become a Pittsburgh fan, a Steelers fan, at a certain point, you just get the they open up the briefcase and oh, mm-hmm. then you get your <laughs> terrible, it out to your, your terrible towel and shit. That shit bright yellow ain't gonna never look like that ever again. <laughs> like the, uh, the the secret to the Krabby Patty uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah they had that John But nah yeah. man What we had going to the game uh, I mean nah Shout out to the young boys Yeah For sure man Shout out to DJ yes, sir. Shout out to DJ Montgomery man Shout out to Ty Good mm-hmm. Yeah 
Shout out to Trey. Them boys put on. Yeah. Man, I was sick, my dog. Oh, it's so funny. So, first of all, DJ and Ty Good, those my youngins, man. Uh, DJ actually, he like going on like his fifth year too. So, shout out DJ. Happy that he getting his shot for sure. Mm-hmm. But, uh, real trench, baby. But, we uh, we be on the judge together at the practice. Mm. And uh, I was talking to him about uh, me, go, you know, fast to the flat. Okay. And uh, this when we first put it in, though. Because that fast to the flat shit was some shit everybody knew. The first shit with Mo ain't, ain't nobody knew about. Okay. That fast to the flat shit. Niggas knew AZ might get the rock. Okay. You know what I mean? So <laughs> we had the jug machine. And he like, AZ, like, when you catch a pass, if your body in the end zone, just go limp. All that shit is matter. Just catch that bitch. I said, dog, my dog. Whole body wouldn't lift the arms. <laughs> 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 no, nah, shout out to DJ. I was sick, bro. Yo, I swear man. to God. The bro. first jump, I was sick. I'm like, ah, man. bro, because we know what that's like. Speed, we know Yo, what that's man. like. We that's know what that's right. like when you've been grinding. I told you, DJ is not a rookie. Yeah. yeah. He going on like his fifth year, I believe. Yeah. He been in this league. He been in a couple of different organizations. He been grinding, putting that shit in. I ain't gonna lie, DJ been abusing us in practice so bad. I'm glad the niggas off the scout team. You know I mean? <laughs> Honestly, like, can we build confidence, nigga? Stop. <laughs> bro, no, he, he been, been killing. Bro, he yeah. been putting on. He finally got his shot. And the thing is, when you're a receiver, bro, like, man, that receiver shit is different because it's not like on defense. Honestly, defense, hustle, playing hustle and playing hard. <laughs> you gonna fall your fall fall your way into it. Just a couple things. Mm. Now you obviously you got your scheme and everything and put in the right stuff. Ah, oh, that's cool. But you you play hard enough. You probably you probably be you all get right. something. Find something. That receiver shit, bro. If they don't call that play. That quarterback don't throw that ball. Like that shit is a wrap. You out there exercising? Yeah, yeah. yeah. curtains. You out there? I ain't gonna lie. Like you you heard what I told Broski from the New Orleans. Every time you in the game, you they running the ball, nigga. You you're not getting the <laughs> rock. I ain't gonna, you know, but it's a couple people like. Do you see them yeah. in their jerseys? You oh yeah, this nigga not getting the ball. That joint clean. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this motherfucker out here cardio. You know what I'm saying? He running, he running the deep post. He ain't even look, looking get back. Your ste- get your steps in. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He <laughs> fits it out here. You feel me? So you, when you know what I'm saying, young but when my man in that situation, you just want him to get that shot because you just been seeing what he's capable of doing for sure. Bro, so it's just like And he, he warmed it up too though. I seen it though yeah, when he, he warmed rose, it up. when he rolled out, I'm like, oh two. Then they threw it and it's like, I ain't gonna hold you. When when the guys score on offense, I ain't gonna cap. I I'll be like, I'm I'll be ready to run in the end zone and celebrate because yeah. I'd be so happy. He dropped that. Like, oh. But shout out to Shane, shout out to Gardner, bro, for like that's real, that's some real shit, bro. Yeah. Go right back at bro. Like no, give man. him give him another it's like, nah, fuck that. We ain't ending you like that, bro. Yeah. Right yeah. back, right back, tutted it. Yeah. Tough. Yeah. Tough. That's resilient. That's hard work. That's what the fuck hard work do. Shout out to my young boy DJ for sure, for sure. Yeah. That was thorough, bro. Yeah. Yeah. And that, it, sure. if, if if you don't I, uh, because obviously that was something that I saw, but I wanted you to kind of speak on that too. Um, after he had did the role and, and kind of you know dropped everything but came right to the sideline, it looked like you made a V line to him. What was that? What was that that you that you had said to him, or was that how was that? That's it was because it was quick. It let was me quick. let me let me say this. I feel like a part of like being a teammate is mm. like I said, bro. Like when you make a good play, like when he caught the tug, everybody, everybody he couldn't make it to the side of the yeah, bench. Yeah, yeah. Everybody smack you in your back. You damn near fighting concussion allegations, <laughs> trying to make your way back. Niggas stealing you, <laughs> motherfuckers in the building you ain't never seen. Hell yeah, uh, Zaire, you, oh, me. you you knew him. You like, what, you work what, what department you in? <laughs> You feel me? It's yeah. crazy. Scouts, everybody said like niggas. You feel like niggas came off the sideline. I mean, off the stands to be on the sideline. <laughs> ain't no room to walk. Yeah. You know I mean? When you when you mess up, boy, I'm talking that about that ghost. shit is ghost town. You walk <laughs> in that bitch free. You you can't get a dap up if, it, if your <laughs> life depended. I don't like. I I'm not like that. I don't okay. like that. Especially if I feel like you. You know what I mean? You mess up. Especially like I said when I know. You've been putting in the work, bro. When I knew yeah. what that moment took, bro. Mm-hmm. So it was just, and I and I ain't gonna lie. Like when we go through struggles and when, when when you know guys are not playing to their capabilities or they make a mistake or something happens, I just understand the game and I know mm-hmm. how the season goes. And we've just seen it for so long, but we're gonna need you, bro. Yeah, mm-hmm. we're gonna need you, bro. So like you bigger than that moment. Just don't let one turn into two. Yeah, that's that's all. That's all you can ever do, bro. Just pick your head up, keep shooting, bro. Fuck mm. that, you miss. Keep shooting. I don't give a fuck how bad it was. Just keep going, bro. Because yeah. guess what? We are gonna need you to make a play later, bro. 
And bro, DJ stood tall. Shout out to T Good too, man. I can't I definitely love DJ, but shout out to T Good, man. My young boy T Good out there carrying it, bro. Yeah, need yeah. That, need carrying that. it. Another yeah. scout team terror out there. He out here beefing with shit. <laughs> Speed, they, they was some practice they, rumbling niggas. Speed, <laughs> they was they was some practice warriors, bro. They nah, like that, bro. T good, T good, one of them, bro. Yeah. yeah, DJ DJ be getting his shit off, but I think I was more excited for T good just because okay. like. T, every time we do linebackers one on ones and stuff, I love going against him because bro, a competitor, and okay. he don't let that situation at the end like being elevated or, or like practice squad or whatever like that. He don't let that control who he is as mm-hmm. like a as a person first first and foremost, yeah. and definitely not as a football player. He got all the confidence in the world, and you know he played high school ball with Downs. So yeah, like, he wow, did. okay, he did. yeah, he okay. got his hands in the locker went to high school room. Together. He got okay. his hands in the locker room, so it's just like he got that confidence to just knowing who he is. Mm-hmm. And I think Downs give him all the life because mm-hmm. I can see how you look at Downs, whatever like that, and how they talk. And it's like, yeah, bro, like we been here before, we been those guys, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Yo, you know who T. Good actually uh, grew up with? Who? Monil. Really? Shout out Lil Mo that. Shout out Mo, Mo bro. Neal, he was Shout a running back Mo for uh, Syracuse. He's from uh, North Carolina, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow, Yeah, him okay. and T. Good grew up together. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, man. yeah. T. Good nah, really T. Good. a dog, though. No, yeah. for sure, though. He is. Damn. Like, yeah. like most Scott team running backs, like, they hit a little point to where it's like, ah, right, y'all out here striking, bro. I'm going to tuck. T. Good come out that motherfucker. All right, we could do that then. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. that's what y'all saying. Like, all right, shit. Like, that's when oh, that's yeah. niggas on. But I'm on that now. Yeah. 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 So now I'm he up. come out that bit, woo woo, hitting, yeah. get into sure. a little scuffle, like, stuff like that. Like, mm-hmm. niggas who don't complain when the heat is on, bro. Yeah. I trust them for every, like, when it's time to go in the game and do what they need to do, whatever, like that, bro. Yeah. I just know what it is because you've already proved that shit to us. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yeah, no, it was it was a lot. I feel like I'm not gonna lie to you. It was a lot to more so digest in terms of what was happening in the game as far as like who who was going out, who was making plays or who was doing what. It really just seemed like the air didn't go out of the room. The air didn't go out of the out of the stadium when, you know, you had somebody go down. Somebody was out. It just looked like y'all just plugged back in. Just uh, back in. It did though. It did. It did. And I. I mean, look. I, we can't. We can't discuss the game without without getting into it. For sure. Uh, Pittman, bro. It's a lot. It was a lot. It's a lot being said, bro. It's a lot yeah, being said. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a lot around it. Let me just say, from my perspective, mm-hmm. like I mean, we on the sideline. I don't remember what it is. Pittman cooking at this point already. Yeah. Uh, look like it was about to be one of them days for my game. Uh. And, you know, I, I just seen the ball. I didn't necessarily see the hit. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I saw the ball go, I'm, huh. It's like one of the things I looked, and I just, oh, you feel me? Then I see the flag. Now, I knew it was violent. I knew it was one of them type situations, but I didn't necessarily see it. Mm-hmm. I saw him down. And I'm also the type, like, I don't like watching, like, gru- gruesome shit. shit. Like, especially, yeah. like, injury. I just feel like it's bad mojo. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like... I, and again, like I'm not the. T- I know we had to replay it for the terms of you know trying to influence referees to throw flags, even though I don't know if, how much influence and they really need it. Yeah, but uh, I ain't really finna watch my man get done on on a jumbo trying. That's just not where I'm at with it. But yeah. you know, I see Pitt down. I get up. I'm like, damn, that's Pitt. Go out there, check on him. Um, you know, was glad that he was doing okay. Glad that he was healthy. Um, again, like I said, I, at the time I didn't see the hit. Uh, you know, he get up. I see him rolling over, you know what I mean? He's, you know, he moving and all that other stuff, which is crazy that, you know, that's where it get to. Like, yeah. it's, it's crazy that that's that's the first thing that you glad, like, damn, he moving. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. no, we didn't just yeah. seen shit like that. That's just the reality of the situation. But, um, you know, he get up, he walking off, you know, me and Pitt relationship, you know what I mean? I know Speed will piggyback on it too because I think it was me and Speed both fucking with him, but... <laughs> You know, we we know we know who Pitt is, bro. Like, and we understand what he means to our team, but like at the end of the day, Pitt always our little bro. You get mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. That's just yeah. how we treat him. And it's just like obviously we proud of him. And I know how I know Pitt mindset, bro. Yeah. So which is fucking crazy. Pitt something wrong with Pitt. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Please remember, like Pitt is a member. I know he from Pasadena and he low key he high key lives on the farm. He's high key a farmer now. Yeah. High key. But which don't make no sense. How are you from L.A.? Cali, you you from Cali. But he told Yo, me it's his, it's his uh, grandfather. It is his grandfather. Yeah, his grandfather on his mom's side. Yeah, I guess, but motherfucker. <laughs> Had him on the forum. Yeah, he got some other shit going yeah. on. But it's Pitt, Pitt, out there, Pitt, Pitt was going to walk off the field. Like, that's his mentality. Yeah. Like, that's his, nah, fuck you. Like, 
I'm him. I, I, you ain't you ain't putting me down. Yeah, I'm walking off. Like that's yeah. who he is. Whether he should or shouldn't. Have. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's who he is. So like, you know, I'm gassing him. You all right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I ain't you seen tough, it. right? Yeah, yeah, you tough, right? Niggas get hair in there, B. Yeah. Get hair in there, yeah. B. You good? I'm good. He just but that's out. what Pitt like, though. Yeah. Pitt don't yeah. like sympathy. Yeah, he ain't. Yeah, you can't give Pitt yeah. no sympathy. He gonna be like, yeah, bro, I saw, get I saw away Speed from barking me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He gonna get away from me. Like, Pitt like when you come to him. And, and plus, Pitt is a child at heart. So, yeah. like, yes. anytime he can get some jokes off or play around yes. and, like, you in know, in the worst I mean, moments. In too. serious moments. Yeah, serious ass <laughs> moments. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he bring up his morale. So, that's just yeah. knowing yeah. your teammate for real. Yeah, so, like, I know. It's funny. Them. We on the field, me and Speed on the field telling <laughs> Pitt he he tough. Stop, act, stop, stop bitching, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Candy in the stands with his wife, Kiana. It's consoling, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, Pippin, Pippin, crazy. We yeah, we yeah. got a different mentality to this shit. Yeah, nah, that, you really about ready to go back out there and call a run play. He gonna fight, bro. No, 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 dead ass, For no, real. dead ass. That's what, <laughs> that's what he thinking. He thinking. Order. Let me get back out there, and I just want to see dog. I don't even want the ball no more. That's how Pippin is. That's what I'm on. Yeah, yeah. I got this block for y'all. He crazy. As now shit. Damn. they asked me after the game. What did I think of the hit? Did I think it was a dirty hit? Okay. Again, at the time, I had not seen the hit. Okay. Now, you know, today I saw, you know, obviously we record on Mondays. Comes out Friday. But today, Monday, uh, I saw that uh, bro got suspended for the rest of the year. You know, mm -hmm. I saw that, you know, he had a couple of suspensions already, a couple of fines already on his jacket. Uh-huh. Uh, I think it was about five of them, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. He yeah. had two in one game, uh, the unnecessary roughness and stuff like that. Now, listen, what I said, too, and I still stand by that, bro. I'm not, I don't know, bro, personally, and I really think that's a heavy term to put dirty player on somebody. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. a heavy tag to put on somebody. Yeah. That somebody's out there purposely trying to trying to yeah, hurt yeah, or, you if yeah. that makes sense like yeah. you know what I mean I'm not trying to like we all got families and kids and shit so it's it's a little that's different that's one of those things that follow you yeah like, like yeah, yeah that's yeah, more of a character yeah, like yeah, yeah you, who you are as a man that's a little different you yeah. know what I'm saying like I don't know if we really on that yeah you know I, it's been a lot of discussion about it you know what I mean speak on it we seen Tom Brady you seen what Tom said yeah I seen what Tom said mm. yeah Tom and, and my I took the time I took the time approach. They asked me about it this morning on the uh, on the morning show. Okay, and uh, I kind of took the time approach on it. I was like, I don't think that like when you're going out there and hitting somebody, it's ever like, especially in a situation like that, because you really don't know where you striking. You just know that you either going low or high. Mm, okay. So depending on where to run a fall and depending on where to run a stay up at, you feel what I'm saying? You can hit dude anywhere. And if you look at the play, bro was really on. He closed his eyes. Yeah, he did. He closed his eyes and went like side, shoulder, head down type. You know what I mean? Okay. It ain't like he just like spin on no Brian Dawkins type time where he just like face, eyes open. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Brian Dawkins is a killer. <laughs> yeah. It's a killer. Yeah. yeah. So like, <laughs> For sure. Bro, he wasn't but, on that type time. But to my, my, my rebuttal to that was is that I feel like um, Tom Brady more so tried to explain or give some type of leash to the individual or the situation based on a IQ of another. When I when you look at the play to me, to be honest with you, when I was sitting we were sitting right there, mm -hmm. I don't think that and this is my perspective, Tom's Brady Tom Brady's analysis of the situation didn't give or the analysis that he was given to whomever the quarterback is or mm -hmm. whatever the situation was, I don't feel like he gave that same analysis to the other player or the person that administered the hit on the play. The hit. Because to me, if you look at the play, like I said, if I'm going to look at it from that, from the Brady perspective, if Pittman, after Pittman had caught the ball, he wasn't going to go anywhere. He was going to be on the ground and you could have touched him and it would have been, the play would have been over. When stuff, like it happened like this, but, I yeah, but really understand, don't know that. But you that, breaking on ball. But that's what I'm saying. Okay, you, and that's- You breaking on ball and then your eyes are snapping to But that's the I'm same, saying? that's what I'm saying in terms of what Tom Brady, that's the that's the analysis mm -hmm. that Tom Brady gave of So do you Brady think he should have been Gardner. fine? Who? Do you think the Do guy I think he should have been fine? Yeah. 100% been fine. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I agree. And that's where I'm at with it. I think that the fines are definitely necessary now at this point. Because you gotta you gotta put some type of tax on it for shit to transition. So to me, uh, and this, so let me make sure that I'm putting a clarification on that. But I the believe, end of the year suspensions, 
Yeah. The suspensions for a year taking guys pay for the rest of the that's, that's not you, you didn't agree you didn't agree for that with that in the situation? I didn't agree with that. I think that you mm. should be one time fine. You should sit out probably a half or or the next game or whatever like that, then you're able to come Even back. Even though this is his fifth fine of the year. Yeah, but so it's, I'm not it's a, it's or a, six or six. I don't know fifth. In or my six. in my yeah. opinion, and I in my opinion, I think the league is in a transition period to mm-hmm. where okay. a lot of rules are being like implemented. Okay. But because y'all implemented rules and we've been playing the game for you so long at some point, I'm cool with y'all enforcing. Throw y'all fines out or whatever like that. Okay. But when it comes to like taking like over, I think one guy's up like damn near a million dollars. Yeah. Tyreek is up crazy. Too. Yeah, because Tyreek's y'all decided to change the Tyreek's rules right. within. Like you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But, so it just like, so like put some grace period to adapt or whatever like that. But I think mm. that they do give you like, all right, if you take a class or if you do this or whatever like that, they give you a certain amount of your payback. Okay. Some shit like that. People don't talk about that, but it's a bullshit amount based on what they taking. But so to to Z's to Z's point, I'm I'm not to me in that situation, I don't want to charge him for the for what he did leading up to that situation. To me, I think it was a fallible offense. From looking at it, because of because of how defenseless Pittman was in the in the play, Pitt was damn near laying on the ground trying to catch the ball, and he struck him. That's why I think it was crazy. Because I, but I do agree with you though. If it's continuing to be a fallible offense, you got to do something. But I think that that play was was enough to yeah, be. Yeah, people got to realize you can't knock the ball off a guy now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to yeah, be yeah. there early That's enough. Kind of yeah. where I'm at with it. Okay, like now, let me talk. let me say this. Let's talk. I personally felt like the hit, I ain't going to say it was dirty, but it was dead wrong. They don't like, we got it like Speed alluded to, the NFL is in a transitional period. Mm-hmm. Like, like it, love it, feel a way about it, don't feel a way about it. They, the, the concussion movie, all kind of independent mm-hmm. uh, evaluators, Studies, yeah. all kind of stuff was going on, on in our game today. It's not going to just allow these type of plays to continue to happen. Whether we like it or not, they're not going to let this. They're not going to let plays like that to happen. And that play specifically, uh, Pittman off his feet, leading with his head. I mean, like he's, you know, what I'm saying, headed down. Basically, you can't in that situation make a physical play and separate man from ball in that scenario in today's day, today's game in 2023, Mm -hmm. you cannot make that type of play in that situation. And honestly, I feel like where the game is going, they really just want DBs in this situation to play the ball. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's more so what it is. I felt like he could have broke up that pass without hitting Pittman. Now, again, I understand there's a pit is a, is a bang, bang play. True. Uh, I've been in situations like that uh, where it's like, you just naturally react it. And it's sometimes it's almost like like for us as athletes who've been in these situations, the game slows down. And sometimes it's almost like you you already committed to doing something without thinking, and you already, damn, I shouldn't even know. You feel yeah, me? I should have did that, yeah. Yeah, I mean, and I think that's where a little bit of that came is why he wasn't really elbowed out head. Like it wasn't like he was really trying to like end Pittman shit. I think he just okay. made that decision. Okay, okay if I Collide with him. I'm I'm separating man from ball. Yeah. So I, I personally feel that. But the play was wrong. He deserved to get kicked out of the game for that. And if that's your fifth or sixth suspension, whatever it is, you probably I mean or uh, fine, fine. You deserve yeah. to be suspended, in my opinion. Mm. And that's as a defensive player. And I'm only saying that because like it's only so many times motherfuckers can smack you in the hand before you start to understand that like this is a business. They not playing like that. Change that. And right. I ain't gonna Change lie. That. Like yeah, yeah. this is. I feel like I play like one of the most reckless niggas in the league. I under, but I understand mm-hmm. yeah. what they will and will not allow. Not mm-hmm. to say that I ain't never teetered a line, but yeah. I get it. You get what I'm saying? And once you get fine, once you got to understand, they looking for you. So you exactly. got to adjust the way you play. True. It's just a part of the game. True. That's one. Now, in terms of, you know, what Tom said now, personally, and this is really where I feel like, mm-hmm. Tom, I get it. You feel like if you came out and played today, you would probably still be the best quarterback in the league. And, I'm, and honestly, I'm not saying you're wrong. Yet. But not. He'll come back. <laughs> and I think that's the problem. This, this just watching the game is pissing him off. Yeah. For sure. You know, like, like it, it, 
I actually kind of love it, but I, and first of all, chill on my man Gardner. I ain't finna let you violate Gardner. We ain't finna do that because your whole power paragraph, you really sneak this in my man. That's all I'm Don't trying do to say. That. Yeah, let my dog breathe. Don't do that. You feel me? But every time he coming out, quarterbacks need to do that. But I do agree that you can't just penalize defensive players over and over and over again and never hold offensive players accountable, bro. Yeah. Okay. Like, a part of the game is like, Okay, you don't want us to hit, drop, tackle you. Then when I grab you by the fucking waist and I'm about to fall, stop running. Exactly, nigga. <laughs> stop what? running. You're not about to drag me. <laughs> yeah, to 10, what you bro? mean? You're not finna drag me and put me on ESPN <laughs> nah. and have me on your highlight because yeah. you're some tough guy that runs through arm tackles. And then yeah, when I bro. actually get your big ass on the ground, Relax. you want to cry and say I tried to hurt you. No, I'm trying to tackle you. If you don't want to get hurt, get down. <laughs> Yo, Straight up. Now you the nigga on a treadmill with their Henry and shit. Yeah. Right? I hate that commercial. No, no, no. I can't. No. I hate that I can't. Commercial. Oh, it's when he running through the buildings. It's nah, he running. He running on a treadmill, and it's like six NFL players, and it's just like he just on a casual stroll on a treadmill. <laughs> That's and there's six niggas on his back, and he just. <laughs> Go, <"All> right, nigga. <laughs> you play us two times a year, so who y'all? Who, who y'all see this? this? Who That's, is real, this? That's real, dig here. Yeah, who y'all see this? It is, nigga. Oh man, that's crazy. It won't me. We gonna get it. We gonna get into Tennessee. It won't me. But no, I just feel like, bro, at some point. Like we gotta hold the offensive players accountable. Like y'all letting them get away with everything, mm. and y'all trying to consistently, consistently criticize how defensive players play the game, okay. and constantly making us ultra aware and over accountable for the different plays that happen in an instant without ever thinking about why are people putting themselves in position to be like that. Mm. Like mm. you can't keep saying that we're in the wrong for playing physical, bro. A part of the game, bro. This is football, bro. Physical nature and punishment of the game is a part of the game, bro. That's a fact. Like I said before, it's the reason why we respected the guys of the past, the Larry Fitzgerald, the Heinz Wards, the Anquan Boldens, mm. the ones who was tough enough to go across the middle and deal with that shit Smith, sure. and take that shit and keep going yeah. and come back. Mm. Everybody wasn't built to go do that shit. It's the reason some of them little skinny, some little skinny dudes was on the outside. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So, like, sure. we got to keep that in mind when we talking about the game, bro. Like, being physical is a part of the game, bro. If you take that element of fear out of the game, we playing, we playing a different sport, bro. Mm -hmm. I hate to say it. Quarterbacks, receivers, they, they have, they like, that element of fear is a part of the game, bro. It's, it's the mental capability of the game, bro. Mm -hmm. You got to be willing to do certain shit that other people ain't. So, For like, sure. my only part about it is, is, like, yes, that Pittman situation was outlandish. But at some point we gotta at some point we do gotta hold offensive players accountable to the situations that they putting themselves in though. Yeah. I uh, okay. I I agree, but I do have to offer just a, a asking for a little bit of perspective and some pushback. Is that from the seat of be it either a Brady or whomever, not even Tom Brady, fuck, fuck at this point, not not even talking about the comments that he made. Is that how how is it that Offensive players are either going to get a, I don't want to call it respect, but how would they even be able to go about saying, hey, like this play that a defensive player made was not a foul. Like this was actually them just playing the game. Because I feel like a lot of times, and you brought that up, is that that ultra accountability, it's always the defensive side that's explaining, hey, this is a play that we made that's not fucked up. Well, because we in control. Like most of this, most situations that offensive players are in, they not in control of the situation because they looking back at a ball. Okay. Defenseless. Or they defenseless. Okay. So we the hammer, they the nail. So it's just like, you feel what I'm saying? They want okay. us to control our tempo and everything like that. But at the same time. But that's what I mean as far as like the offensive sides. Oh, they, the never, they never speak up unless they lined off sides. Yeah. <laughs> That's only that's the only time. Yeah, like yeah, and, and, you uh, ratting on the team like that one commercial. Like, no, nah, coach, I I touched I, the ball. I touched the ball. <laughs> <laughs> like, First of all, he a goofy, he the goofiest of all the goofies for sure. <laughs> I wish somebody would. I'll tackle him for sure. on his way to the ref. Nigga, what you doing? No way, lie. Nigga, lock up be in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> he tripping, and that's for the state chip. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Listen, but everybody. nah, we would be we would be silly to sit here and say that after all the all the the technology and everything has coming out that has came out with concussions and them doing like yeah. the test on old players' brains and yeah. stuff like that who donated. Yeah. And I totally appreciate those guys who ever passed away or whatever like that and and donated they of course, they of course. Of yeah, course. that's of course. brave. But um, 
But we would be silly to sit here and say that we're not going to change the game based on those studies. Like, yeah, okay. you and feel what I'm saying? Yeah. For sure, it's I a agree. different it's a different league now yeah. too. But and I get that. But I also just feel like at some point we have to maintain. The, we got to keep the integrity of the game intact. I agree. I think there's a fine line to you know uh, holding players accountable and protecting the players from themselves to over policing because at this mm-hmm. point. A lot of guys don't even know how to like what's the right play, what's not the right yeah, play. Yeah. Like you finding running backs for 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 lowering their shoulders, and then you you finding receivers for crack blocks. It's just mm-hmm. kind of like you know what I mean. As like again, like the, one you of the hard, one of the realest lessons I ever learned in the game and in, in football was I was running down the field and somebody blindsided the shit mm-hmm. out of me. I <laughs> spun around, I landed so hard on my ass bone that I felt damn near couldn't walk. <laughs> that I realized, you know what? When I'm on the football field, I probably yeah, need to, I probably need to keep my head on a swivel, yeah. swear, <laughs> so I don't get hit like that no more. Thanks. Like for sure. For my sure. thing is though, the fines are getting you finding you finding for everything. You finding for socks. You finding for you finding like this ain't even malicious hits. Like people ain't even going out and just trying to like like it's just accidental like out of bounds hits for sure. Oh yeah, like yeah, shit yeah, that yeah, like yeah, motherfuckers yeah. didn't even get get like unloaded on. Like motherfucker didn't even just you ain't even max bro out. Like it was just, just like some shit. Right you yeah, just yeah. Duh, 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 thirty yeah. bands. Here you go. Like <laughs> yeah. bro, why do you feel like you can take a million dollars from from, from a somebody? Yeah, that, yeah. That's crazy. Them fines be crazy. Why, why do are. you feel like you can actually take a million dollars? And from where somebody? does the money like, go? I I agree, but I think that's a PA, bro. That's truly a PA conversation, bro. Oof. I got a PA. Call. I just got to talk about the PA. I'm just I, I honestly, but speaking not like really though. I honestly think that that's something that you guys. Like, it's kind of it's kind of like, together, bro. bro. Yeah, they got they got to fix that. Fine yeah, shit. y'all got to get with that, man. Yeah, it's For bad. Sure. It's, bad. it's definitely bad, bro. But definitely out. happy that Pittman's doing well, man. You know, I saw him the day he's up. Adam active, 100%. same dude, same damn corny ass since yeah. <laughs> y'all taking no uh, Z Moss? How you doing? Is that good? Is that yeah. good? Is that good? Is that good. guys is good? Yeah, for sure. Good. Right, definitely getting back healthy. Yeah. Uh, but yes, I mean, what else about Pittsburgh? Beat uh, their ass. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> Beat shit out the yeah, boys. It felt good to get on their ass. Hey, playoff pitch is he in up? Oh, is man. he in up? Yeah, so kid. what we hold on, hold on, because I know you know Tim. What do we need to win the division? What do we need to happen? To win, or nigga. Is it, no, I'm saying you still need some other shit to happen. No, oh, we just a couple need to wins. Win. There's what a couple things. I don't know. Wait, wait. Y'all, it's it's more than there. Y'all just winning out. I think what Jacksonville got to take a, another. So slug. Jacksonville got to take one L or two. One. They got to we'll take one more. We got the same record. Texans got to. We play them, but they got right. the head to head battle on us, right? Yeah, but it's cool. Right. But if we got now, a better record, it don't got, matter. Yeah, don't yeah. want to say less. Yeah, then the Texans got to lose lose out. Well, obviously, y'all got y'all got to beat them. But yeah, we good because. We got the hit the head battle on, on the take, so we can have the same record. We gotta we gotta play. But you gotta the play them again the to close season. to close oh, them out. Shit, we do yeah, you gotta close them out. So yeah, it's it's a couple. It's basically two things that really gotta happen to shape it into an amazing first round playoff game in Lucas Oil. That I'm excited for. Look, that. man, we just gonna take it one week at a time. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I like foreshadowing, bro. Fuck it. Yeah, man. But look, can bro. we get around the league, please, bro? Come I'm on, telling bro. you, bro. Look. I, I, I ain't gonna hold you, and I've actually this. I actually meant to talk about this last time. But okay. First of all, we're getting we're being too hard on the referees. Let me just say what? that what we're being too hard on the athletic directors. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> on the ads, <laughs> we're being too hard on, on the digital ladies? software manager uh, of oh. the regional IKEA. <laughs> we're being too mean on these. Dudes, oh, Michael bro. Scott. Like, first of all, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, something I did want to pop out. Did you see? So obviously, everybody saw uh, Pat Mahomes and get all upset about the Bills shit, right? Yeah. Did you see what he said to uh, Josh Allen after the game? Yeah, he was like, "It was a bullshit call, the worst <laughs> call I ever seen." <laughs> like, worst hey, call Speed, ever seen. what's the most hating shit you didn't told your man after he, they just beat you? Like at, at the at, at the end of the game, dap up. What's the most hating shit you ever said? Shit, what have I said? I really ain't never said no hating shit, really. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Dude. I ain't we, never said no hating shit. We played uh, Jacksonville earlier yeah. this year. Mm. I see Cisco. He caught a pick. Um, nigga, they throw the ball right to you every time <laughs> we play. He talking about something. They all still count. Um, 
Damn, you motherfucking right. You're absolutely right. <laughs> You're absolutely right, sis. And that girl. moment it called me, I'm like, damn, I'm going on my dog. But you be like, damn, nigga, you got to catch a pick every time you play us. Yeah. Bro, not for real. Though. Relax. You don't never drop. You just always in the right spot, nigga. Blow a coverage once or twice, nigga. Damn. <laughs> Oh, you force some fumbles feel, and shit. Wayne, better, man, bro. I hate this nigga. Nah, that's feel my better. dog. Shout out to Cisco. But Shout that was some hating ass shit to say. Like, <laughs> 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 yeah, but you like to be on understand though. We we competitors. So like, sure. you giving everything you got. Like you you turned up mm. the moment big and shit. Sometimes the shit just slip out of you a little bit. You, <laughs> <laughs> you can't even help it. Like Patty came back and apologized. Yeah, the Josh, you know Josh. And I hate that's why I hate it though. Like the end of the game, so dap up, so nasty. Depending on who won and lost, because you know Josh Allen, he won. He ah oh, man, I know, I know Pat, man, he's a competitor. You know, I didn't take it personally. Yeah, I know, nigga, you finally got on you his got ass. The you, you got the dub. Yeah. You took that dub home. I know you yeah. probably felt good. Going home. Yeah, it felt good to catch his little ass, isn't it? <laughs> nigga, nice. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that should be funny, bro. That uh, yeah. now we being too hard on the referees. Now every time, oh my god, they called this offsides. Nah, he oh was. My nah, yeah, Pat got it chilled. He was, bro. He was clearly off. No, nah, I'm not even talking about Pat. It'd be just other general, games now. I'm just general, be on okay. the timeline. Look, at, like now I be watching the game. So like we played on Saturday, right? Crazy thing about playing Saturday. Now you get to watch all the games on Sunday, right? You just kind of watching it. I ain't gonna lie, that shit feel different in the, uh, after like the bi- different than the bye week. Remember we said the bye week you watching and you like damn you like hungry to play, especially on the win off the Saturday. You, Shit, my work done, nigga. Y'all, yeah, I mean, y'all back in too. Let me watch I mean. y'all. Let me watch y'all, y'all, nigga. Y'all boys back in too. Uh, y'all, yeah. <laughs> y'all on shit, man. Yeah. I said I'm watching. I'm watching football yesterday. Like, ooh, they gotta hurt. Ooh, like that. Man, y'all niggas. Yeah, I, what? That's on <laughs> turf. That turf. That, that turf not nice. Get up. <laughs> Get up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look, look. nigga said I don't like that. Let me go ahead and change the game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll get bored. I'm gonna switch over there, bro. Oh my god, talk about hate, bro. Oh, first of all, I'm not even done. While the referees was beefing when, uh, in our game, gets the Steelers, I ain't even tell For you real? this shit. What? <laughs> <laughs> I bet they was. I bet they bro, was. I'm trying to t- Referees are people too, bro. <laughs> Let me just say this. And I'm going to just go out there and put this out here. Y'all really better chill on these refs. Before the league come around and start computerizing all all flags, oh, and shit. we're not going to like that. Oh, me. We definitely not. You're not going to like that. Shit. They really going to call every hey, hold, every push every, off. Yeah, you don't want receivers that. Going to be down. So bad, y'all better y'all stop, be pushing the fuck off. Stop nigga. complaining and accept <laughs> this human error for what it is. It yeah, goes shit. both ways. That's true. So just let it breathe. Y'all 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 doing a whole lot. That's true. Yeah, you know I mean, my man, just uh, the manager at Target, and you got him out here <laughs> fearing for his life. Stop doing that to my man, bro. <laughs> Chill, bro. They say he's a decent athlete. They say he played linebacker back in college. For sure, even though he ain't showing love to linebacker. But look, oh, yo, hold on, gang. It's a TV timeout. I don't know what's going on. We up now. That's, that's how I know I don't really, I ain't really that, like, mad or like, you feel me? We about yeah, to Yeah, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> bro, I hear a referee. I hear them going back and forth about some shit. <laughs> oh I get God. the eavesdropping. What the fuck are these niggas talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Call to play. I, I right. hear one of them. He, he trying to, you know, one of them going off. He trying to explain something. No, oh, because look, like when da, 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 and that, you know, I got a he, bro. I'm not trying to hear that shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so shit, this shit be good. Hey yo, I ain't never seen no red man. Hey, I'm for that shit, bro. Now. I'm trying to hear that shit, man. <laughs> I told you when you doing that, you messing up my view. <laughs> I said, oh shit, he fucked up his view? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping it was for us. <laughs> then, look, 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 your main man still trying to explain. I ain't trying to hear that shit, Clarence. He walked up. I said, damn, Clarence. Hey, I you gonna let him talk to you? <laughs> we need one more time hey, out of hey, hey, go, stop, 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 get you. Stop, get in one more nah, time out. Nah, nah, I'm not in that shit. I'm not in that because they might turn that energy to me. Let me out there. Look, my oh. name Bennett. Fo- <laughs> hey, man, I ain't Bennett. in it. Four, 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 five. My yeah. goddamn Brian, yeah. goddamn yeah. Bennett. Bro, I ain't never heard two referees beef like that in my whole life. That Yo, shit was hilarious. That shit was probably amazing, bro. Bro, it was. That shit was I'm, probably. I'm trying to out what, that shit was probably. Why ain't mad like the, that? The landlord and the super argue in the building. <laughs> goddamn, let me get my shit real, bro. Bro, I'm looking at that gang like, bro, chill, bro. Do you are you trying to hear where he's coming from? I'm this John playing mediator and shit. That's how I feel and shit. I'm like, you want, you know, I look, I ain't gonna hold you. I'm at this. Wow. 
You, you want some water? Please, <laughs> 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 don't get that boy some water. Hey, man. yo, man, man, make sure hey, you get paid. Hey, 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 you start calling uh, <laughs> the trainer like, <laughs> take like care. you running everything out. Hey, hey Pete, man. Hey, take, take care of my man. Take care of my man, man. No, 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 no. Not, not that one. Give him, give him, give him yeah. the good John, bro. The, the, with the Gatorade. With the Gatorade. Yeah. I would have yeah. called, yeah. yeah. called him by himself. I would have called both of them by themselves. You know, bro, I'd be tripping. I would have <laughs> went, went to the other nigga. Hey, man, I was saying the same thing. I was with you. I was with you. Three <laughs> mixing oh, with you, bro. Three mixing, bro. Hell. Referees are people too. We need to let. Hey. We need to let the referees, bro. Let the referees oh breathe, bro. They out here. They got a relationship issue. They they mad at each other. They mad like, at us. I feel like the refs really is like on some like. Y'all got us fucked up shit right now because like yeah. on the fourth fumble, bro. I look. I if you look at the film, I get up to the ref. I'm like, ah, bro, that's a forced fumble. Like, woo. He looking at me like. <laughs> I, I, seen, I seen that shit I said alright bro Don't even worry about it bro I seen that shit They were not looking at where you bro Where they ref that know my name I think it was one of these Niggas up here That be saying my name He, he called me EJ and shit Ain't nothing ain't none cool than when, when the referee Know who you is dog. That shit be <laughs> like <laughs> Zaire man How you <laughs> my, my, my man My man, man. man. You like you get, Yo, you on the day. Yeah, that day. Yes, sir. You better you hope, man. You don't, I don't know where the fuck these motherfuckers be positioned. I got to learn that shit. I'm like, damn, you the damn. umpire. Where the fuck? You, you, you blocking cool. my view? You cool with a nigga. He on their side. I see, they, you, I see how you felt when uh, when they didn't give you your first fumble at, uh, what was it, New England? Yeah. Oh. When they ain't give you a joint. Oh, when they ain't challenge it? Yeah, because on mine. I should have I I challenged it. And then they harrying up. They on hurry up mode. I'm looking at a stack on the sideline. I'm like, I see. I ain't then do that. Now you gotta lock in and get the call. So you like, ah, oh, fuck. I, it. Yeah, I ain't. I ain't do. I ain't do that. I should have did that, but it'd be hard because <laughs> I'm the nigga that gotta give everybody the call. call. I can't be yelling at Shane, <laughs> yeah. throw the flag. But I should have did that shit. I definitely made Zeke fumble by Mother mm-hmm. Denver. But uh, nah, that was a hell of a play for sure. Um, Great big play, play in the game. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. Popped it off in the second half. Yes, sir. Uh, but yeah, man. Let the referees breathe, gang. Damn, man. Y'all being mean on the referees. They gonna AI us. <laughs> They gonna get the AI yeah, chat uh, CBT, chat CBT. Or whatever the hell it is. That's gonna they gonna get them bro. out there, and then y'all really gonna be mad. <laughs> Cause then guess what? They gonna start calling shit every even. damn day. Yeah. It'll be ten flags to play. Yeah, nobody gonna like it. So just Up calm five. down, bro. Back five. Calm down. Up five. Human error is a, is a part of what make the game great. I honestly sure. feel like referees missing calls is a part of the game. Just yeah. let the motherfuckers know. Hey. He just pushed me in the back, and I know you seen that shit. <laughs> nah, don't tell me you seen that shit. Throw the flag next time, bro. Yeah, that, that's a, that's yeah. a part of and it. Get, look, look, look. Hey, that's a, that's, and then, a, that's look. a healthy relationship. Sometimes, think, sometimes look, look, you get blocked, and you miss the tackle, then hold it. See, I told you your fat ass come block me. I told you. <laughs> Go ahead. Appreciate, appreciate that. Though. Appreciate it. Look, he had me. That motherfucker had me. That motherfucker had me. He had his hands on me. He had his hands on me. <laughs> I think I bailed out. Shout out. Hey, look, that's, hey, look, that's when I felt like I made it. And oh, shit. When, I, when I got the whole in call you on get the yep. miss, yep. I said, ooh, I might be out. I knew it. I yep. might be out. <laughs> I knew that nigga was hey, holding look, That's why I get Because look, nowhere in me, I would have made it. Yeah, but hey. see, clearly I couldn't because you holding. Duh. <laughs> get off me. Lame, man, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But no, nah, that's was crazy. Good uh, sh- what happened around the league? Man. I got to say this. Okay. Shout out to Vito, gang. Vito? Yeah. And why? Yeah, shout out Tommy. Oh, oh, uh, what? 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 Y- the Vito fan? Y- the Vito is started, a Syracuse bro. graduate. Don't, Stop playing with him. No, he's not. He is a grad it's transfer. Crazy. This is the first time I'm hearing this. Yo, all right, go ahead, bro. I'm going to go ahead, bro. I, it, 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 speed, call Bobby, speed, speed. I don't think that's... Speed. Call Bobby right nah, now. You is, are crazy. Speed, nah, the Vito is, is graduate from Syracuse. Here's that's Syracuse my guy. young boy. He's a Syracuse guy. So he was the quarterback when he was there. Uh, he was a young boy. After. We had somebody that started yeah. over him, but Dungy. he was a young boy. He came in. Dungy was he the, in uh, Sam Elliger class. They was in Elite 11 yeah. together. Shout out Syracuse. Yeah. The ah! Vito. Shout out Syracuse. They got, nah. they got, they got I would dab they him up, but I ain't quarterback. fucking with Devito. You a hater. They got a starting quarterback. You a hater. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, DeVito, yeah. Yeah, DeVito was a yeah. uh, backup for, for ED. Yeah. yeah, for Eric Dungy. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. <laughs> DeVito the got the, the here, stand bro. from the kid that did. Yeah. Hey, yo, man. Shout out young Vito, man. All right. The all right. Italian style. His agent fit terrible, though, gang. Got to get into it. <laughs> that green terrible. Kid. Terrible I heard it fit. was like, I think it's like some type of ritual. Like, I think it's something that was going on with the kid that's <laughs> It's a ritual? Yeah, it was something deeper. I seen it on a, on, the on, hell? on uh, Instagram. I seen it was something deeper than him just putting that on. Well, no, so I, maybe what they're referring to, he had just gotten, first of all, <laughs> this is going to be a great segue, but 
They say he had just the night before got in, elected to the Italian Hall of Fame. Oh shit! So that's the green suit you got to wear suit. for the for the Hall of Fame joint. Yeah, for that sure. The, yeah. But, they, but they the made, mix with the Jays was nasty. But no, so, so let, let, let's let's break down the fit. Thank you. Let's get there. So you know, first of all, didn't know they had an Italian Hall of Fame. Didn't know it. Do we got a black Hall of Fame? I just I don't want to I don't want to I want to play apples and oranges. It's the sports. HBCU. I'm just, I'm just the trying HBCU to see, Hall just, of Fame. HBC, I can't get a see. I don't like that. See, we divisive. Our people, our people, we need to, we're Umar Johnson. Unite. Uh, Umar. But my man got oh, the, yeah, <laughs> him the so my man, so my man, so, <laughs> so my man got the, he got the uh, Hall, Italian Hall of Fame. Jack. First of all, shout out to bro. Like, I don't know his qualifications. You know, I'd never heard of him before he was Tommy's agent. That's no disrespect. That's just me and my Reality. own bubble. But yeah. shout out the gang. I, apparently you've been putting on before DeVito. You're one of the greatest Ita- American Italians that ever walked this earth. You in the Hall of Fame. For sure. So shout out the gang. And I'm hurt. also a huge fan. Like, and like, if you get elected some type of Hall of Fame, wear that jacket, nigga. For sure. Like, I'm a heavy advocate of that. Like, I, bro, I, if you a Hall of Famer, if you an NFL Hall of Famer, wear that gold motherfucker, dog. For sure. You wear yeah. that motherfucker. You wear your high school letterman in college? Hell no. Okay, but Hell no. Well, first of all, I don't even. In college. First of all, we had championship jackets. We didn't do lettermans. Oh. Excuse me. Yeah, excuse I, don't, me. I don't know if niggas was carrying it like that back in <laughs> Fort Worth. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, that's how we had. Yeah, we had five in a row. Y'all didn't get the rings? Y'all just had jackets? I mean, I like the jacket because I'm not really a ring guy. You know what I mean? Mm, I'm not okay. married, but uh, yeah, I mean, it just is what it is. But back to my Let's man. Fit. So you get the jacket. Right. Cool. Tough. Congratulations. You him. Now, let's keep in mind. I don't know many Hall of Fame that give you pants, too, though. They don't do that. So <laughs> they do not give it. You got custom made tailored pants to match the jacket. Now let me say this: that is a power play. Let me give you that. <laughs> I give you that. Now the lime green is an interesting color choice. That's probably some other type of green. Uh, you know they start calling you know what I mean different shit. I don't know. That's a uh, toad or some shit. I don't know what the hell <laughs> it is. You know you know how they start calling <laughs> they start calling white egg white. Egg white yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean egg shell and yeah. You know what I mean that salmon. Y'all don't know about that salmon. Yeah. I be putting that shit on. Green. Yeah, they, 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 that's me. Here, First of all, I'm wearing a suit this week too, and I'm putting that shit on. But I'm gonna chill though, okay. gang. For Christmas, I'm gonna chill. Yeah, you got to. It was the last. I was going sweater vibes. I thought Christmas was more for sweater vibes. Are you on that type? You that type? I ain't worried about you. You that type? Oh, okay. So, like, he had the matching pants with the jacket. Somewhat nasty, but I'm going to respect you. But the problem I had with it, gang, you going to match the Hall of Fame jacket with Concours, bro? <laughs> with the mics? With he the tried Concours, to step out, bro. Gang? And the problem I had with it is, gang, okay. the pants was hemmed for the Concours. So, that means you knew you was going to wear Jordans. <laughs> you had a plan for this. Why are you wearing Jordans with a suit, bro? I think somebody bought them those Jordans. So I don't. Know. First of all, them shits look two sizes too big. They yeah. look like <laughs> look like somebody photoshopped them bitches on his feet just for the picture. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. still had the white around it. Yeah, <laughs> that's not P. That's not. No, P, that's not thorough, okay? gang. That, that, oh. that was a nasty fit with the fedora. But I, I forget that you Italian. That's just swag. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean the the organ duck fives would have went much better with the fit. No but. Jordans would have went good with that fit. I mean, look if you're going if you if you're going for a Jordan look, and definitely you might as well not a high top. Go definitely not the high top. Honestly, the, the, uh, he could have some Travis's. The Travis's, the tans, yeah, all the tan bitches go with everything. But I, I, I feel like I feel like y'all he could have popped off. With I feel like y'all giving him like too much sauce. Cause understand that he got the pants to match. Yeah, but the I'm green not fucking top. with the pants. Like <laughs> you don't. It's if over. Somebody give you a jacket. You don't go. Get some pants to match that damn jacket. Put <laughs> on some jeans, nigga. Yeah. That's what I'm like, saying. First of all, my that's man what I mean just didn't look comfortable out there. Like, he just looked mad uncomfortable. Like, you got suit pants on. You know how mm-hmm. it is when you got a suit. You try to move around. Like, yeah. you, you scared to really lift your leg up too much and shit. You yeah. out here on turf and shit. You fuck around <laughs> slip. Now you got to, now you got to walk tight legged all the time because you, you feel me? Your, your business in the streets. That's and you crazy. match that joint with the Concords. Like, what you doing? It's a bad, it was a I bad joint. I uh, Vito, the celebration joint, the Amulian. That shit crazy. Amulian. That shit yeah. crazy. But brother, I think he got sacked like eight times, and they nah. kept hitting that joint like every yeah, time. That's the way I, I think gonna do that too. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I'm like, Yo, yeah. Let like him I can say, yeah, that's in the top. Yeah, I, think that's a, I think that's in the top. Like when everybody was doing Shador, they kept they kept doing Shador. That was nasty. That's Shador. That's Shador. Quarterbacks can't have celebrations like that, bro. At all. But the Shador was definitely. You sat Cam. Now you hitting the. 
Oh man, everybody hate quarterbacks the Superman. celebrations when they sack him. Yeah. What's what's um? I don't think Dak got a celebration. I think he just like pump his fist. <laughs> the fist, the fist. He like Dak just seemed like a great guy. Yeah, he don't got. A yeah, celebration. I don't think Dak got a celebration. <laughs> I'm all for quarterback celebrations, though. I think they. Yeah. I'm all for quarterback celebrations and receivers touchdown celebrations. I actually get excited when receivers score touchdowns and see their celebration. Not when I'm playing them, but when I'm watching. <laughs> when the they, game. when you playing them, that shit hurt your heart, though. Yeah, yeah. Watching uh, Justin Jefferson hit the gritty beat. I trip your ass. <laughs> you, you better stay over there. In that they court. scored this weekend. One of the, uh, the offensive linemen. He going towards the. He didn't even go celebrate with his receiver. I'm all for that. Go celebrate with your receiver. But he started like walking towards our crowd. I'm like, hey, bro, bro, chill. <laughs> Seven, it was the dude with the black visor, 77, whatever. Oh, man. With the ski mask? Yeah, he was out there turned. They got the little touchdown or whatever like that. Part He's his big to, ass. He walked towards the, Put him in. Put him in part. <laughs> reverse. Send him home. Send him on his way. Stop <laughs> trying me out there. Looking at me like. I was hot. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm off Pittsburgh. I'm done. That's all I'm about to I'm say. Chill. Chill. I'm right. like, bro, bro, chill, chill, yeah. chill. Parked his ass. But he was yeah, like, no, okay. you right, you right, you right. I was like, yeah, bro, you doing too much, bro. Yeah. Go over there with your receiver. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's not me. Yeah, that's that. We not doing. Yeah, no, that was a whole situation though, for sure. But yeah. Nah, I'm, for I'm sure, for sure, for sure. Nah, I mean, look, so we touched on a, a couple of interesting things. I mean, yeah, the game manager. Ooh, that hey, uh, yeah. I look, Cam. I, I think I, Cam was spot on. By the way, but I'm gonna let you go ahead. Go no, ahead. I mean, and one, I agree. I just don't. I don't understand. And maybe y'all, yeah, y'all. I, I want to hear y'all perspective on that. Why is it that? I don't want to say that y'all don't get respect, but it just seems like as soon as y'all, you know, take off the helmet, put the pads down, and step into a booth, the the level of like expertise for a net, like for people that are on the desk with y'all, they feel like that goes out the window. Like, sometimes. I played this game. Yeah, but sometimes I feel like it's a jealousy to, like, you know, most of them motherfuckers, some of them went to school for that shit, like broadcast and sit in the classroom. Oh, 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 can't let you do that. Syracuse got all of them now. And what? <laughs> Syracuse is, like, number one. Everybody that's, like, in ESPN, like, graduated from Syracuse. Newhouse, we got the number one school. Yeah, no, nah, I'm not knocking motherfuckers sitting in the classroom and getting their broadcasting and yeah, going on okay, to be a I'm good just, broadcaster. Just, just, that's shout love. Out like, you feel shout what I'm out saying? my school. Shout out to Congratulations. Newhouse. I'm saying you got to be an athlete to do this, and I ain't saying that you got to be a broadcaster to, to do it either. Yeah. But I think some of them just know too much of about a book to the ins and outs of broadcasting. And then when a football player come... We only talk into relation of the game. Like, you feel okay. what I'm saying? You don't know how to really just set up and give, like, an opening. Okay. Or da, da, da. You just get on the mic and just talk. But I, but I feel like... It's so, like a rapper who write and a rapper who don't. Don't write. A freestyle like, and a... But I feel like Cam's analysis of the game was very much that. And it wasn't coming from a perspective of, oh, this is what I did. This is what I didn't do and based on what I didn't do wasn't the greatest I don't think that that was the perspective he came from yes it wasn't but Cam I think Cam was trying to relate some more of a point to like I can talk about like how he was explaining game managers right I can talk about this and it can be respected by me because I've actually went on and did these things I played in the league with these guys I know someone personally I can talk about it right and I think Cam was looking at it, it was like the 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 hate that you bringing towards me is because you can't without that player getting offended or without you sounding like a hater. Okay. In a sense. And so Cam was like kind of like, so with me having that 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 like power, okay, I think that's where y'all trying to hold me back at. Yeah. By saying like, oh no, he don't know nothing about the game. On the little topics that doesn't consist of him. Of him having that respect on on a level of okay. being played in the league. Okay. Now they like, oh no, he don't know what he's talking about now. Now, but then when he can get the respect from players or whatever like that to talk about those situations, he they, they quiet. Yeah, they but, don't say nothing. Well said. So, I guess the, I guess then to speed to that point is that if there were, if Cam was speaking about, and I mean obviously that's in terms of. In terms of his job, there 
is an intersection between knowing personnel, KYP, knowing your personnel, knowing the defense, knowing coverages, knowing everything that needs to take place. He played quarterback in the NFL, yeah. period. That's what he did. So when he's giving an analysis of a position that he played in, how do you, how was there a pushback for that? And he did it at the highest level. Let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me say this. Let me say this, Tim. I just feel like, I feel like, first off, sometimes I feel like analysts are just protective of their, their, their space in that environment. You get what I'm saying? It's okay. like they're playing defense of, against that. Like, it, it's easy to see, you know what I mean, where sports journalism is is heading. You know what I mean? Yeah. First and foremost, like the trenches, everybody, athletes have our own platform now. Yeah. You know what I mean? We'll create our own show. We'll come and talk about it. Like, I don't have to go on first take. I don't have to go on... Uh, sports center to 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 sit here and, and explain myself. I'll just open my phone and go on live and have my whole conversation about whatever it is. You get what I'm saying? True. So that's one. Two. Also, even in those spaces that we're discussing, you see them being taken over more by former players. Mm-hmm. So, like you, know what I'm saying, obviously Pat McAfee. Uh, you see, uh, like Perkins. I mean, it's just you just see it. The whole TNT crew is as an example. Like even mm-hmm. the Shannon. Fox broad broad. Uh, yeah, Shannon. You and see Ocho. the Fox broad. Uh, Ocho shot Fox pivot. broad. John. Everybody up there is former players, yeah. Hall of Famers, All Pros, Pro Bowlers. Like those are the guys that are up there talking about it. And to be quite honest, it's harder for you know the the graduate uh, who's just charismatic and you know good on TV to find that space because there's not that many spots because it's being filled up by charismatic players who actually did that. Yeah, exactly. True. So I feel like a lot of that is sometimes I feel like analysts, they try to discredit mm. uh, players uh, and they try to belittle um, uh, guys who've kind of been in that situation yeah, and make it about other things rather than the point that was actually being made. And I think that's mm. where Cam was basically coming from. He was like, how can I... Uh, National champion, Heisman Trophy winner, number one overall pick, NFL champion, uh, starting quarterback for what a number of years. Number He's is, a, at least the best years. quarterback in a franchise's history. Right. Led his team to the Super Bowl. How can how can how can Cam how can I not be able to speak on something that I did at a very high level? Yes, right. like all greats. Be, I just watched a video of Bernard Hopkins getting knocked through the ropes. Did that shit break my heart? Hell yeah, but we ain't going to discredit who B-Hop was when he was at his peak. At all. So it's just kind of like, at what point is like you, you making this about me and yeah, the fact that I'm not currently on the roster, nigga, you was never on the roster. <laughs> so let's start there. I like the power moves that they're making though. If you notice that like most of the quarterbacks, the quarterbacks that is retired now, they're getting like, Four hundred, three hundred million dollar deals. That lets you know how marketable this shit is. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Matt yeah. Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they getting crazy. Shout out to they getting crazy For deals, sure. and that's how you control it. Yeah, like you feel what I'm saying. You got to go get those guys who like Hall of Famers or whatever like that, and like get yeah. them on your show now. Like, yeah, nah, but don't I, go make your own shit. Come to my show and come mm. get this bread, and like, mm. let's make it together. Like, yeah. you can't beat them. Join them. Yeah, but you feel what I'm saying. But I think to me the danger. The danger in the danger in that for me is that you're not valuing the authentic perspective. That's what needs to be disseminated. That's what needs to be critiqued. That's what needs yeah. to be analyzed. Not of because I and even like even right now, bro, where we are right now. Because I re, respectfully, I read the comments right. Like that, that's something that we do. Like, hey, you know, a person was like, hey, you know what? Like, I love hearing Zaire and Speed talk about football. Yeah. I understand that wholeheartedly that like not only are quote unquote that you guys are in the trenches, that is what y'all do every day. Mm-hmm. So when when people kids, adults, coaches, whoever it is that may be watching our show, listen to you guys talk about the game, it is from a truly authentic place. Mm-hmm. The 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 what what's the what's the, the cane sugar? Mm-hmm. It is it is it is from the ground, it's from the bottom. The only thing I'm the only thing I'm gonna say about that is though, it's just one I think people do underestimate athletes specifically sometimes. 
it's not easy to sit on a camera and be able to articulate yourself in a in a well thought out way, especially when you're True. live on TV. So let me just say that that in and of itself is a skill to be able to have the straight stream of consciousness that they have to create and, and talk about mm. uh, sports in the way that they do. That in and of itself is a skill. I we agree. as a unit. When we pull up the JBP, we see that you got to get in motherfucking podcast shape. Yeah. For sure. For sure. <laughs> Shout out to JBP. Shout out to the network. <laughs> Some niggas they is working. in shape. They working. You hear me? Bro. They are yeah, working. Yeah. It's a reason why they are who they are. Because yeah. we could, you could, and you could tell when you watch them work. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I will say that as well. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing I'm going to say is, is just, and, and, I mean, not a lot of people are like charismatic like that either though. Like when I mm. feel like when I watch TV, uh, when I watch like sports, like I think it's different for us because all right, when we talking about the game, we breaking down what happened, what went down, who we proud of, what we disappointed about. Woo -woo. They on TV talking about narratives. True, like, we're not gonna go up there and speculate about uh, who the Texans are supposed to be or yeah. who uh, the Ravens are uh, are supposed to be or. How disappointing but that's a Dallas loss is. Like, we understand what shit is like. You that's know what I mean? That's strong suit, though. But that's yeah, what, but that's what, what I'm we saying. need from them. I, and that's what I'm saying. So, like, in the whole ecosphere of, uh, like, this sport journalism, mm -hmm. there's room and space for everybody. Everybody. Exactly. I agree. Because it's consistently growing. And I, and I just don't like, and I think the thing that I dislike the most about it is, you trying to discredit one of our greats, like, just off the strength. And yeah. I just felt like... You don't have to do that because you like that our space growing doesn't necessarily take away from you because people are just gonna go view what they want to see. Yeah. yeah. But, but in the grand scheme of things, yeah, I think most of those broadcasters, <laughs> they dug themselves into a hole and now they gotta either find a way to maneuver out of it or ask for help in hand to get out of it. Because mm -hmm. back then when people was telling like broadcasters like, respect me. Like, respect right. me as a player, respect me as a man. Like, right. you know, I got kids watching this and y'all up there talking this and that and that about stuff that y'all don't even really know too much about. Right. And it was kind of laughable. Right. It was it was, it was was good content when a, when an NFL player was barking back or an NBA player was barking back or whoever that they was talking about. But now it's like, oh, well, NFL, NBA, they didn't flip the narrative. Now, like, they got yeah. their own podcast to get their own like to to tell their side of the story or yeah. whatever like that, so I can't really just down talk this person because now he got a platform to you go. You actually back need to make sure back. that you're building that relationship you got, that I was trying to yes. before. I'll now be now it's I'll more agree. of like all right, let's work side by side instead mm -hmm. of me working against you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's and that's what they gotta. That's what that's. I think that's what most of these broadcasters gotta realize. Like it's not your platform anymore to just talk or do whatever you want to do. Like, you need to work side by side with an athlete and really get the real information. This is our space. And the more that you do that, the more profitable you will be as a broadcaster or whatever like that because now you got the respect. Yeah. You feel me? I understand. I understand. Hey. What's up? Did y'all see this uh, race war that's about to go down in the NFL? <laughs> Please do tell. No, that, that, that. that they trying to insinuate. You didn't see it? No. Nah. Please do tell. In full. Okay. Thank you. So it started with, do you know who Rashad Mendenhall is? Speaking of Pittsburgh greats, you know who Rashad Mendenhall is? Who Rashad Mendenhall, Mendenhall I do. former running back for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, I hate to say it, Pittsburgh was one of my favorite teams to play with on, man. They was a good job. He played running back for a good amount of time. I don't know if he won a Super Bowl. You really couldn't he miss. Uh, he says, I'm sick of average white guys commenting on football. Y'all not even good at football. Oh, Can shit. we please replace the Pro Bowl with an all white versus all, all with an all black versus all white bowl, so these cats can stop trying to teach me who's good at football. Shit. I'm better than your goat. <laughs> to which JJ Watt responded, "You guys might have a point." I'm paraphrasing. I'm not looking at his. He said basically something like, "You guys might have a point. We don't have anybody on our side that could cover Tyreek." That's a fucking fact. You ain't got a motherfucking person. Snapple. There. I mean, ain't nobody on this earth damn near coming. Snapple tarps. fact. But Will Compton, <laughs> he's the one that I got to point out. He quotes and says, I like what we have in-house. Mm. Coaches, quarterback, mm. running back, mm. fullback, mm. O-line, mm. tight end, DNs, 
intangible linebackers. What the fuck is an intangible linebacker? <laughs> yeah, he linebacker? better put some type of spin on that. Intangible <laughs> linebacker. First of all, I'll violate one of your intangibles. <laughs> Let me leave that alone. We are cooked on the back end, but with the smart game plan and a good run game, we should be able to win time of possession. Hold on. See, I, was chilling. I was chilling, but since he sparked the beef, T-O-P? he really got us fucked up. He also says... Short time to prepare gives us an advantage as well, in my humble opinion. Hold the fuck on. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah, yeah, at all. Short time to prepare? Can I can I spit it? He believed that the beep can't get it together fast enough. <laughs> but hold up, before hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. But before we even take it there, because I'm not gonna lie, Will Compton. <laughs> Will, what's his you name? Got, you, you, I ain't beefing with bro. Little, little, he got it. You, you teetering some lines. <laughs> let me, <laughs> let me <laughs> just start there, gang. I'm, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna get that out the way. But we ain't gonna go that way with it. But understand, I got my eye on you now, brother. I got my eye on another one of them. I got my eye on you, brother. All right. So let's let's hold that. All right. Time of possession. He got me fucked up. Let's start here. First of all, most coaches. I ain't finna give y'all that game. No. Yeah, I'm not giving you coaches. Yeah, I can't give you coaches. Quarterbacks, it's a new day and age, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new day and age. Now, listen, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all got the great day, but we got the next nigga. <laughs> Patty. Patty with us. Yeah, Patty definitely Let's with us. Let's start there. I seen his daddy. Oh, me. Patty with us. Daddy, Patty, daddy smoke smoking Newport's gang. He games. smoking on that Joe Barrow. <laughs> yeah, me. Smoking on that Joe Barrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, let's go there. Look, look, look. I get, look, McCaffrey. I ain't going to lie, McCaffrey cooking. He might be MVP. I'll give you that. Hey, hold on, though. We got a couple of them guys on our side yeah, as well. We got some depth. I don't know who you got after we put a little Trent. McCaffrey ass. Yeah, yeah. They're big Trent. Trent on our side, though. And Trent, and I'm putting Lamar at slot because Patty at Q. So you feel what I'm saying? Like, so hold on. on the reverse throwback. To reverse throwback. Back, you know I keep saying? fucking telling you, first of all, Atlanta got a fullback. So I'm going to let that breathe until after this one. But <laughs> stop fucking trying me with fullbacks. I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> O line, yeah, and I ain't gonna lie. All right, all right, all right. Pouncey brothers gone. O line, no O line. They got that O line. Yeah, they, they, they got they got that. O-line Wait, Trent, shit. Trent don't got a few with him. Yeah, Trent. Well, we Trent. got Trent. We got, uh, we got Tyron Trent? Smith. Yeah, they got Big Q. They got Big Q. Got Big Q. Yeah, they got Zach Q. Martin. They got Zach. They got Zach. They got, um, Big, they got Big Lane Johnson. I ain't gonna lie. That nigga Lane Johnson put his hands on. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. They got they got a handful. I ain't gonna look. They look. Yeah, they got they got a little. I ain't gonna lie. All right. Okay. Kelsey. A tight end, look. Kelsey be switching sides too much in the game. That's my, that's yeah. my, that's my thing with but Kelsey. But they taking like, Kelsey. If they, they taking Kelsey. If we give it, if they giving us Pat, they taking I'm Kelsey. Ta- I'm gonna yeah, tell you, y'all, y'all, only, y'all only gonna get Travis because he gonna go with his bitch ass brother. That's the only, <laughs> oh, that's the only reason why he going there. Jason Kelsey, I still really don't like you. And if I catch you outside, I might smack the bullshit out you. But we ain't talking about you right now. But Kelsey, Travis probably gonna go with his brother though. So, yeah, 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 and, and he ain't gonna want to though. He gonna Travis gonna be trying to dab us up. And, <laughs> Look, 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 look. It's gonna be it's gonna be TV timeout. He gonna walk over to the sideline, hit the little hit yeah. the whip with Odell. You and know, then, he gonna, he gonna, yeah, he gonna yeah. try to be cool. Yeah, we gotta slow down. Yeah, we gotta slow down. I'm I'm saying we got like, yeah we got some don't don't try wide, don't, like that. Don't no wait wait the wide like receiver yeah, I can't let you I can't let you the can't wide receiver you, shit is like the, 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 the wide receivers first of all on the outside that shit is so yeah, outlandish we not even like, bringing it up you talking yeah, about you time of possession we really just yeah, gonna drop back and up. throw that bitch yeah. first of all respectfully de- the defense of Ramsey they gonna have to borrow something. the defense is crazy now they gonna have to borrow at the corner they gonna have to borrow one borrow what who they got we blanking shit yeah that's what I'm saying they gonna have to borrow wing guard. We got salt, <laughs> but you got look. You got I salt. Like Wingard, that's crazy. Yeah, 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 Wingard. Like, Wingard, you got, you got Wingard. I can't let you do that. I can't let you do that. Hey, bro, uh, you crazy? Uh, bro. I can't. Bro. I just fuck with Wingard, bro. No, we got bro. blur game, bro. Then you swore sin ass. No, bro. no way. We, we not crazy. doing that. We it's not sauce. doing that. It's Ramsey. We not doing. He talking about some defensive end, and I it's gonna, Gilly. We gonna have it's come Trayvon. They got they got they got they got TJ. I got, y'all, y'all got yeah, TJ. Y'all got spooky. Mads Cross. But we got some. We got AD. There we go. Off the rim. Michael Parsons. Number one. Miles Garrett? Miles, come Miles on. Garrett Stop. and Parsons is all with. Stop. Hey, AD. They got Hunter? some hitters. Come don't, on. Stop. We ain't, don't act like it's they got some hitters, though. They Big got bro. some hitters. Who they got that? some hitters. I said Max, Who that, TJ? Who that, bro? They got Max. Man, Max Crosby with us, bro. I ain't. 
Max <laughs> definitely with us. I ain't gonna hold you. Max I ain't even like gonna cap with you. Max yeah, really don't even yeah. fuck with y'all. Yeah, Max, Max gonna Max pull up to y'all practice. Max and y'all gonna be this playing some weird. cornball shit. This shit ass. This gang. Shit I ain't weird. gonna hold you. He gonna text our group chat. Yo, what bro. up? We hey, pop out at your he party. Gonna, he, gonna, he gonna hit us with that. Oh, yeah. And I'm giving him the address. I don't even know if I got any songs <laughs> hey, on this bitch that would even nah, be played. I'm not. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Some cornball ass shit. Some uh, take me home. Sweet Caroline ass and practice. That shit crap Bro I think, uh, I, think we play I, that shit. I think we ain't giving it out Niggas <laughs> <laughs> gonna be like We don't hear that shit But y'all stadium uh, <laughs> can only... <laughs> I don't think we giving Enough credit to our Offensive line bro uh, nah, it's just so they, our offensive line. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I mean, we nah, gotta, they stamp. Yeah, they I ain't gonna. They like, stamp. They can, they no, already know what's yeah, up. I, I told them boys like, I feel like I can go play running back behind it. I ain't gonna line. do as good as our running backs, but I yeah, I ain't gonna I lie. Might. Yeah, we got a few of them boys up in here. Yeah, <laughs> I can make a nigga miss. All I gotta do is make one miss. <laughs> I'm trying to put your bed in, nigga. That's, that's my thing. I'm trying to put your bed. I'm trying to put your bed in. That's my thing. Nah, nigga. I need a little look and tie it <laughs> I've, been, I've been working with Reds. Me and Reds been, hey, 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 Shane, if you listen, me and Reds been getting some extra meals. <laughs> Bro, I ain't gonna yeah. hold you. We cooking the shit out of y'all. Like that shit not close. You talking yeah. about some time of possession? I'm I'm seeing forty nine to seven. Yeah, it's <laughs> straight up. Like I'm not. I don't take even, the ball. Look, take the ball back. Yeah, we gonna get it I back. don't even really understand. And I ain't gonna hold you. Let's keep this at. Let's keep it where we gonna keep it. Let's keep it peak because it's getting a little dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> you hear what I'm saying? Because the, the uh, line yeah. does just look. Because I ain't even started naming the linebackers though. Shit. He said intangible linebackers. linebackers. I don't so even you know, know white linebackers is trash. That's basically what he said. So where Puka? Puka, some moment he out of this. He not even in that. He not even in his beef. He got. Actually, the they did come fuck with the bros though. They got. He got. They he got. He got. He got. Sit that one now. Puka, you not in this. This thing got, got that much Buck, to do with bro. you. Buck, yeah, Grove, yeah, come yeah, on, eighty, yeah, yeah Mike, yeah. Micah, yeah. Yo, it's it's net. It's yeah, crazy out yeah, there. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. They got Cooper Samson. Cup. Samson. That's what they we need cup. to start talking about. Samson. Whoa, bro. Yo. We need to start talking about Samson, bro. That's a fact. Samson is cooking. What he got? Nine and a half. Yes. Yeah. Bro, he ended a few games, bro. Samson, crazy, bro. No. I love playing, playing, playing behind Samson, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah no, for it. sure, for sure. That's I love playing behind Samson, bro. That's a fact. That's yeah. a fact. He make no. every he he make a decision. I, I tell and Samson, when he make his decision. Listen, that shit right. He ready to put his hands on him. <laughs> listen, understand something. And I, get out of the way. I tell Samson before every game. I say, <laughs> Samson, if we was back in Africa. <laughs> oh my God. Well, and we were, and we was in the tribe. Me and Samson, we would be one of them lion hunting niggas. Just you know blood what I'm saying? On the face. We'd be one of them motherfuckers that only wear uh we wear the, 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 the fur paint. thongs and shit with our chest out with you the know face just, <laughs> with the white you know paint. Saying? With yeah. the face. We, that we, ain't we, face paint, that's you know animal blood. Yeah, so. we yeah, we only come home to to, to breathe oh, yeah. and, and, and re up. <laughs> and we, we back out lion hunting. You hear me? Oh, you part we of the fucking Y'all part of, y'all part of the Jabali tribe. tribe. Yeah, yeah, the Jabali tribe. Yeah, yeah, that's what we that's what Samson is. Hey, great pickup, Chris. No, for sure, bro. sure. No, for sure. Yeah, I top but look. No, niggas don't want to give me credit. Niggas don't want to give Zaire GM credit. I told Zaire niggas GM. when Samson signed, I said, bro. But you know we were we traumatized. No, nah, we was. We was we traumatized. Was traumatized bro. Cause, man, before it was kind of awesome. <laughs> but we ain't getting into that. But yeah, dog. Uh, no, Samson. I, 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 I knew Samson for a minute, bro. Yeah, yeah Samson bro. definitely been putting on. When but, you knew yeah. How you? Uh, you know so, back in the day? So actually, crazy story. So you know, I trained in Seattle for, for the draft. Yeah. Mm. So when I went out there, um, Samson had got drafted. I think the year before me. Yeah, then for uh, you, year seven to the Rams. Uh, we had the same player mold. Like they was showing me him. Like, look, look what we did with Samson and oh, Mayhem. Okay, because he's from uh, the Pacific Northwest, he's from yeah. Seattle. So then, and then that's where he used to train too. So I trained with Samson for like a couple years when he was in LA. Then that's when dope. he turned up and then went to San Fran, uh, I think that's when he moved out to L.A. Mm-hmm. But me and Samson been cool. We jersey swapped back when he was in San Fran when we played in the ring game. Yeah, yeah oh, so man. me and Samson, yeah, so me and Samson low key been like yeah. that. Shout out to my dog Charles Emanuel. He uh, he up in KC now, but he mm-hmm. was in San Fran with Samson, mm-hmm. and he told okay. me he was getting a dog. Mm-hmm. Okay, he told me he was getting a dog. I just had to see it for myself, but I definitely yeah. didn't see yeah. that plus Wait, more. Wait, did uh, Samson play with uh, with Book? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think yeah. I yeah. For one season, I think. Okay. Yeah, I think okay. One season. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um. Yeah. What else we got? Yes, sir. We good, man. That's pretty much. That's pretty much it, man. man. Yeah. That the obviously. Come on, man. Y'all know. I know. I gotta. I gotta lean that way. I got a. I got a good jump, bad jump, man. I got a good jump, bad jump this week. Um. 
This week for Good John, Bad John, I got to start with the uh, defense attorney for John Morant. Look, uh, Miss Adelman, you know, who, whomever you are, I don't know if you guys have seen the case or not, but she was in the courtroom asking for John Morant to punch her in the face. <laughs> I did see that shit. And I'm like, man. I did see that shit. Shit got why, their mind. Shit got their mind to do that. I said, Josh said it like this. Huh. Man, why are you asking for hey, this man bro. who is a whole. No, they asked they me. They said, they, said, are you, are you, they said, are your diamonds real? I said, I'm a millionaire. I'm a millionaire. Right? <laughs> like what? <laughs> like, yeah, That's bro. Like, crazy, come man. on, Miss Miss Adelman. Come on now. Like, please, please. Like, the, the young man is already under enough scrutiny. And respectfully, you are a Caucasian woman in a courtroom with a black man with dreads, and you're asking for him to swing to you. What do you think that people are going to think if you to ask him to do that? What if he just stole the shit? Boom! <laughs> Dropped her shit. <laughs> and just stood there. <laughs> then what? <laughs> they would have locked your ass up. Dropped her shit. Mm-hmm. That's, no, a, bad, yeah, that's that, a bad job. That's a bad job, bro. bro. Like, come that's on, man. Like, look, look. The If whatever was, I don't know what was, wasn't done or whatever is happening, but like. To all the just, kids, man, stay out of them courtrooms. Yeah, man. That's just Do what you need business, to do to leave man. the courtrooms alone. Nasty business. It's not where you want to be. That's a fact, bro. Hey, man, listen. Appreciate y'all tuning in with us. It's been another episode, man. Hey, look, man. Chain Monday. I didn't participate last week. I told Speed I had, and we missed it. Look, but we back on it. We back on it. We back on it. Look, man. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Tim, stay out the treats. Stay off of Tinder. (laughs) Tinder is nasty. That's nasty. Tinder Tim. That might be the name of the joint. Tinder Tim. That's nasty. Tinder Tim. Tinder Tim. But yeah, man. Appreciate y'all. We see y'all next Friday. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays.